I think we are good to go. So, chat room. Um, first off, YouTube stream is live now, which means I'm gonna put a marker in the chat, and Twitch chat can now say hi, YouTube, if you like. Good morning, Juice. But uh, you can now say hi to chat if you would like. Possible tutorial file management. What? That's just like basic OS use. Like you go into your save folder and make a new folder that just says backup or whatever, and you put them in there and then zip it and then put it wherever you want to put it. Like that, that's, that. I'm not gonna make tutorials on how to use an OS. <laughs> like literally like you just go into your, you, you cl right click on Steam, you go to base and stuff, you go to browse local folders and you just click and drag your folders wherever you want to put them. They're just a folder, it's very simple. Um, remember to take your meds and drink water and coffee if you in, if you are a fellow coffee enjoyer. Grab your beverages and take a sip, chat rooms, because um, we're starting a new fort today. I wasn't planning on doing new, two new forts in one week, but a new patch came out, which means it's time to put our face on the grindstone and grind ourselves into a pulp on possible crashes. But then on the on the good side is it means I can then report them. Which is a positive thing, I will say. So currently, if you want access to this new patch, it's in the experimental branch. Stingray, hello, good morning. Um, if you swap over to the experimental branch, keep in mind, it's crashy. Okay, what's in the new patch? A lot of UI features is like, so there's surface level stuff and there's under the hood stuff. The surface level stuff is a lot of UI stuff um, and uh, some bug fixes, like a couple crash fixes, uh, some crashes related to, to language modding, uh, save corruption stuff. I'm skimming here. Uh, vampires shouldn't be blue, in, won't be blue anymore. And when they're eating, they should turn red, meaning good luck finding vampires now. It's now as it should be. Um, vampires are red when they're eating. And then when they're discovered, they permanently become red. So good luck finding vampires now, <laughs> basically. Uh, now, the new stuff is uh, ability to sort, a lot of sorting features, uh, partial UI um, keyboard support, meaning uh, page up and page down or, or eight and nine on the keyboard uh, can cycle a lot of menus, meaning your scroll bars can now be moved with page up and page down again. Uh, there's a lot more hotkey functionality. However, none of them have tool tips yet. And uh, the key binds in the key binding menus are not clear at all. So I was just kind of hammering face rolling my keyboard last night at like 1130 at night trying to figure out what the key hotkeys did. And I figured out some of them. Uh, and there's definitely more of them. But like I said, none of them are listed in game yet because this is just kind of like prepping keyboard support for proper full keyboard support. Right now it's just like making it work basically. So keyboard support is returning and that is kind of the more, or one, one of the bigger things, but m mostly it's uh, better UI functionality. So better menu sorting, uh, that it's like when you open up the military screen now, it sh it, it says who has what skill, um, in like, all like listed there. So instead of just getting like a random list of dwarves with no real logic, it's a lot clearer. When you click on a dwarf's name, it highlights it with like a square. Uh, there there's a lot of lot of functionality stuff. Um, it's if you uh, jump over to the YouTube channel and watch the video I uploaded like two hours ago from the time of going live, three hours ago I guess at this point, um, there. It, I show a bunch of this stuff. Uh, possibly one of the biggest changes is you can now edit the default jobs. So you can click on like, let's say orderlies and hit the edit button and it'll show you exactly what orderlies does. Turns out orderlies is stitches and uh, I, I think a bone setting, but not surgery. Uh, and, uh, or I, th I think it's, it might actually include surgery, but it doesn't include diagnosing or um, patient, or, or, or rather, sorry, it's patient recovery. But it doesn't um, do two of the main doctoring jobs, which is why, like, if you don't have a hospital set up, orderlies just don't work. Uh, so you can, like, customize orderlies now to just be actual doctor's doctors, which is cool. Um, so, yeah, that, that stuff's really neat. 
Um, and then next up, but I, I will say, if you confirm it, at least as of last night, if you hit the done button, it crashes the game on some of the job categories. So Putnam is working on a fix for that, considering it was 100% repeatable. I assume that patch will come out at some point today because uh, Tarn has to merge the, uh, the, 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 the code and Tarn has control over when the game patches. So not something Putnam can do, but they do have a fix for it. So just basically, if you're gonna use this version, be wary, game may explode on out of nowhere. Um, now, the reason we are generating a new world today, which I talked about already with the Twitch chat folks, but YouTube only just went live. Um, the reason we're making a new world today is Goblin, the, the, I'm gonna read this, this patch note verbatim. These patch notes aren't posted publicly anywhere. They'll be posted when the patch goes live officially. Currently, it's just kind of stealthily in the experimental branch and that's by design, although, not my job to keep their stuff secret. Anyway, um, <clears throat> goblins should have trolls again and some additional new friends, but only works in new worlds. So I started complaining about this a couple of months ago where I like suddenly realized, man, fuck, I haven't seen a goblin army attack with trolls since version 47. When goblins invade you, sometimes the armies seem kind of small. The reason for this is because a third of their soldiers don't exist right now. Also, a large reason as to why goblins tend to get kind of overrun right now in world gen is because they don't have a third of their armies right now. And they haven't had a third of their armies in a very long time. So, <laughs> if you generate a new world now in this version, uh, goblins will generate correctly <laughs> and will have trolls as part of their armies. Trolls are great because they are, well, if I just open up the wiki. A troll, um, just for reference, a dwarf at maximum size is about 60,000 centimeters cubed. An adult troll's maximum size is 250,000 centimeters cubed. Meaning, an unarmed, like, cavern troll, not a big deal, right? Like, two or three dwarves that are decently skilled can beat the ever-living shit out of one. Forty hammer trolls with iron warhammers or mauls coming from a goblin siege, bit more of a threat. Bit more of a threat. And while they're probably, well, like, let's just say four squads of heavily trained dwarves could easily take them out, Weaker dwarves, not, they might have a bit more trouble. You already fear go goblins and all you know is V50? Well, just be aware, goblins are supposed to be more effective. <laughs> Budgie Games, thanks for the, tw not 12 months, thanks for the one goddamn year of support. Thanks for sticking around and hanging out and watching the streams, supporting us here. That all the population in the actual goblin sites is per go goblins and not trolls mixed in? Correct. But what, or actually, I, I, maybe I don't understand the base of the question, so I don't know if I can say correct. L the, the way goblins are supposed to work is goblin sites are supposed to be trenches on the surface, and then they're supposed to tunnel down and make, like, kind of catacombs underground. That's where the trolls live. In version 50, all of version 50, they haven't been doing that, meaning they don't get any trolls on their sites. Yes, goblins have very fun leaders. Very fun leaders. All right, so it's time for us to generate another world. We're gonna do exactly what we did last time, basically. Uh, let's do high savagery, very high number of beasts. Uh, I'll leave sites on medium and we'll just do high sieves. This is gonna take a minute. So let's enjoy some world gen together, shall we, chat room? Chat rooms. Close. You have troll visitors? You know, I hadn't thought about that. I wonder if you could get like troll, well, probably not because trolls can't talk, I don't think. Can trolls speak? They do not speak, so they wouldn't be sent to um, your taverns or anything. So I doubt it, 
I think it's it's probably one of those things where it's like, it's probably possible. Um, but it would be extraordinarily unlikely. How to handle new hordes? I mean, that would be more of an ideas video than a tutorial, but... Do you change any of my world gen settings? You just saw the world gen settings I changed. Let's just pause the world and take a peek at what we've got. Yeah, see, already we've got all of these goblins all the way up here. Got humans. Mm -hmm. Big old dwarf sip. Ooh, we got some wars going on. We're already on year 84. We've got like this, uh, the long land. It's, uh, we're, we're here long last, quite literally. There's an empty island with nothing on it. I respect it. Ooh, I don't like this. Not a fan of this. Too separated. Now, actually, hold on. I need to check something. Oh, shit. Did that cancel world gen? That's not listed in the world, in, in the in the settings. But hitting back to main menu, I think just deleted the world. Let me double check that. Because, like, before when you would go back to... Yeah, no, it did. So, in, um... Like version 50.11, if you hit go back to main menu, it won't delete the world. It'll like just save the world. But it seems like it deleted the world. So that's great. That's actually awesome. No more like 50 half saved worlds. Population counter of the goblin sites counted trolls as part of the population. So a site of 100 were a mix of goblins, trolls, and overlords. But if 50 doesn't tame trolls, then that means that 100 is just pure goblin meat. Uh, goblin meat, meat walls, and uh, overlords. And uh, yes, because it, it, it wouldn't count live. They, they don't count livestock. Li livestock, right? So they wouldn't count like beak dogs. You haven't been able to find any bit bitumen's coal? That's very common. Very common. In fact, I would say it's weirder to find a lot of bit bit bitumous coal than to not. It depends on these the, the rock layers you have around. Like, as an example, uh, which we were talking about last night, volcanoes will never have coal. Ooh, that's a fun little... Oh, these humans are screwed. <laughs> go go Dark Goblin Fortress right next to a couple of human hamlets. Yeah, sorry, guys. I don't mind islands. I just don't want massive... Islands with huge populations on them. Ooh, a volcano. <laughs> a volcano with gold in untamed wilds. That could be fun. Tiny little haunted forest in the middle of a glacier. I'm here for it. Random volcano island. Ooh, joyous wilds. Big ol' island of nothing. The island of humans? Okay, well, that's fine. We can have some humans cornered off in their own area. That's 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 acceptable. Uh, over on the YouTube side of things, JJ's decided to gift five more memberships. So if you're a Geotrack, Midnight Tangent, uh, Ranger Rick, uh, X-T-L-E, -L -E, or... Uh, I can't read that. B-O-O-V-A-R-F-R-I-O-R. -R -R. If you're any of those people, um, go, go claim your memberships. Thank you, JJ. For anything but wealth, uh, it's heavy, so if you drop it on Thing Head, Thing's Head probably go splat. Oh, there's a bunch of elves in this forest. They're useful for dropping heavy thing on Thing, basically. Ooh, another volcano. That one's got iron, silver, and copper. Blocks. I see a lot. Oh, there's some dwarves. Okay, let's let it, let's let let's let it uh, generate. Someone was um, asking in the Putnam video um, how I'm seeing like the materials while I'm mousing around. Literally, just pause and you can see the materials. Yeah, it's called Hawaii on Earth. <laughs> Although there's many a random, there's many a random little volcano island. And uh, thank you to YouTube and the 56 of you who've uh, tuned in, by the way. 
And shoutouts to Twitch and the 183 of us. Master of Rainfall of Rivers was created. Ooh. Someone's writing about water flows. The considerate amusement. I like it when amusement is considerate of the rest of us. These dwarves are just kind of getting cornered by elves. Checks out. I missed using bits. Thanks for the little bit of support. Oh, five bucks. Appreciate you, Lanix. Looking to see for areas that are infested with goblins. Down here's one. There is dwarves up here. Okay, this 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 would be a good spot. We got goblins down here. We also got a bunch of goblins right there. Ooh, a tomb. Did they update the tomb sprites or am I going crazy? I think I might just be going crazy. Yeah, this seems like a good spot along here. Jitterbug, thanks for the 14th month. Um, <clears throat> if you, so if, if you want to mine adamantine at your own leisure, leisure, I have a video on YouTube called how to at mine adamantine safely. Basically what you do, smooth it, carve fortifications into it, and that lets you see on the other side of it. When you inevitably dig too deep, either wall it up if there's no demons on the other side of it, or wall around it, cut that layer off, and then you can see where the hole goes straight down into hell, and you can just start channeling around it. What's popping, everyone? Get some beers and frickin' chat. Let's go. What's up, Bonesaw? Ugh. Not only that, new fort on a new patch. We waiting for the UI. Because there's UI changes. I'm actually, honestly, most... Apparently, um... One of the under-the-hood fixes makes world gen faster. I'm not timing it right now, but... Uh, I've been doing the fortified adamantine trick as long as I've been playing Gore Fortress. As long as the adamantine spires have existed, basically. I mean, when was the last patch? Like, the last update that we got? Let's see. I mean, it's the first update of the year <laughs> for this one. Where's my Steam? There it is. I reorganized my icons up on my hotbar the other day, and now I'm, I'm all in a tizzy. Well, okay, so the, the patch isn't officially out yet. It is just in the experimental branch, but the last patch was... October 3rd, which was some fixes. Yeah, it was that was just like a bunch of small fixes. That was the one that made ballistas not able to chop down trees without the elves noticing anymore, which I think is very funny. And then it was June. So June, October, and yeah, I mean, quarterly. That's, that's a pretty good clip for Dwarf Fortress, actually. Uh, there is no place to read the patch notes right now because they're currently sneaky secret. Basically, the, the patch right now is in uh, public testing, meaning if you want to go test it, you can. Uh, but... And it's in the experimental branch, so anybody can go play with it. You can go play with it if you want. Back up your saves if you do, and the patch notes aren't public. I did re more or less read them, though, earlier. Uh, TLDR, uh, more UI sorting. Uh, kitchen interface has been redone. Uh, work details sorting and searching. Also, you can edit the default work details, although I experienced, experienced a couple crashes doing that earlier uh, yesterday. Um, so a fix should be in the works for that at some point. Saves can be sorted by world and folder and on the title screen. More keyboard support, although keep in mind, uh, there's no hotkeys for it listed, and um, the controls settings in key bindings are not very clear as to what key does what. Um, so it's mostly just they are adding in keyboard support as more of a future feature, but if you just like start to face roll your keyboard buttons do things now that they didn't before which is cool um there they added statue graphics they fixed some ui stuff for classic uh the crashes relating to pregnancy apparently no longer crash game they fixed a save corruption bug um they fixed a uh, a, a crash due to re uh, re uh 
language mods and uh, goblins uh, should have trolls again, as they say, and some additional friends in new worlds. It says should, but uh, everything that I've been told has said, yeah, go goblins have trolls again. And vampires are no longer blue. They now just look like normal ass dwarves, like they're supposed to. It's, it's a lot of cute quality of life stuff and a lot of under the hood stuff is this patch. Bold Scorpion is a good name. Ocean Rags, the workers of right. Uh-oh. <laughs> Gotta stay away from them. Uh, constructed Ocean Rags and uh, the Heather of Churches defeated the Whirling Surprises in Guard Calms. Got two Necromancer Towers here. Ooh, these humans are having a tough time. Tombs everywhere, as well as monasteries. Dwarven tower in the middle of everything. Two, a human tower and two dwarven towers. Ooh, this is a messy area. I like this. What do we got? We got another tower. Lots and lots and lots. Dark goblin pits. Castle and whatnot. Also, and just to those of you who are saying, I'm, I'm afraid of goblins, just remember, you can disable all enemy sieges with a mouse click. Okay, so if you are annoyed by goblin threat. Oh, shit, there's another, there's another volcano that's in a good spot. If you uh, are annoyed by... Oh, there's actually a lot of volcanoes in this map, jeez. If you are annoyed by, by like, goblin threats, just remember that you can... Com if you go into the custom difficulty options, you can nerf them to the point where they are in non-concern. You can also completely disable monsters from goblin sieges, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the... Or just from sieges in general. If I'm not mistaken, that's necromancer experiments and trolls. So if you like are if you want to make the game easier, if you are somebody who just wants to, you know, build a build a cool fort and read stories, you can absolutely play the game that way. Um, so just just remember, Dwarf Fortress is a game about like bending it to your will, and like there's if anybody starts shaming anybody or making fun of anybody for doing that, like they're a poser and not part of this community. Swallow thief, I'd rather not. Uh, <laughs> Silver Dwellers, what else do we have? Uh, Priceline, Pri Priceline sounds like a, a place called Priceline was destroyed. Priceline sounds like a History Network original. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. Wonder if trolls are able to defeat locked doors. I will be so happy if they are. Holy shit. I seem to remember them not being able to defeat locked doors in version 47, but either that or it just took them a really, really, really long time to knock them over. It was one of the two. Because I, I remember, like, lining up, like, 15 doors in a row all locked against them. But, yeah, it's been a while. They also have blue blood, so blood isn't just going to be red. <laughs> it's going to be blue blood. There was, there was a new patch. There is a new patch, which is currently in the experimental testing branch, which means it hasn't been announced publicly anywhere. It's version uh, 50.12. Beta. Version 8. Yeah, also, if you if you want an easier time getting started in Dwarf Fortress, the best way to do that is just set your population cap to, like, 50. Build up a nice little fort. Prep for all your population. Set everything up. Spend, like, five years building. And then crank your population to the maximum, and you won't really have any major threats in the early game that way. That's a really easy way to just make the game a whole lot easier. Became the most holy moistness, chat. I would like you to know that the human... Something... There's a human religion that has a religious figure figure called the most holy moistness what's the rarest animals i've ever tamed uh i haven't done much animal probably like i don't know jabberers i tamed jabberers once most holy moistness terminal wetness most holy mo moistness is like a username that you have on a like a web on like a streaming service like Twitch, and then you pop into somebody's chat, and you get immediately banned based on your username. <laughs> Must have had the hell boiled out of them. <laughs> That's how they baptize. They baptize in scalding water. The Regal Escorts is definitely a performance group in Las Vegas. Also, uh, some elf became the exalted armor of something. The deaths of alchemy. I mean, alchemy died a long time ago, as well as, like, you know, the skill getting deleted from the game. 
There is a um a rock called the Rock Arrest Whisker Twilights. The Waxy Monastery was struck down by a human in Trust Chambers. Must have been a great battle. The Confederation of Sculpture. You know, it's funny. If you just dig into names, you always find some good names. What else do we have? The Unbridled Plain. I like the Towers of Alchemy. This is a mountain range called the Towers of Alchemy. I like this area too because it's also got this awesome volcano in the middle. What a cool spot. Lots of nice mountain ranges. That would be some pretty steep mountains there. There's also this uh, terrifying slash haunted tropical shrubland. Ooh, actually. Tropical savanna. Only zinc, though. Ooh, that would actually be really tough. Okay, if you had... Uh, the, the, the area was silver, not so bad. Hmm. We've got some haunted mountains here, too. Sinister mountains. That would be a really good way to get um, gnomes or dark gnomes running around. Ooh, this area is chaotic. Look at all those towers. Jesus. Uh, you only need a new world for the, uh, for goblins to have trolls again. That is the only thing that you need to make a new world for him. Which is why I'm making a new world. Ooh, there is actually a big old mirth. Oh shit, there is actually an accessible Joyous Wilds here. Well, that's cool. Damn, the mountain is untamed. It's not joyous. That would have been awesome. Eh, you know, maybe, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do a Joyous Wilds. I haven't, I haven't played on a Joyous Wilds in, like, maybe close to a year now. One of the first forts I did in this version was a Joyous Wilds. And then there's just this little area with, like, no... How much, chat, how much do you want to bet that this tiny little island here is just full of kobolds? Just, it just, per, just entirely kobolds. How much you want to bet? Also, uh, just a reminder to the, the folks over on YouTube, because I'm actually in an ad break over here on Twitch right now. Uh, and this also goes for people here on Twitch. If you want to help out the YouTube stream, which right now is, I, I think, actually has the highest concurrent I've had in weeks. Um, probably because of the new patch. <laughs> if you want to go help out the YouTube stream, uh, jump over under there and uh, le leave it a like. And uh, if you want to also help it, you can uh, leave a tab up and uh, watch two different streams. Because currently, there's 70, 70, okay, 72 two people just left. 72 people watching on the YouTube stream. And uh, it has 23 likes. I think that we can, like, at least get the likes count up to, like, Come on, we, we can do better. We can do better. 32, there we go. Number go up. Hell yeah. Thanks for making number go up. Of course, like, you know, I, I do prioritize the Twitch chat, so if you're talking in the YouTube chat, I do see you. Love you guys. Thanks for thanks for participating. However, um, the, the Twitch chat gets priority because there's a lot more people over here. When was the last time I uh, did something on Tundra? A couple forts ago? Not too long ago? It's certainly been... I, I haven't done anything on Joyous Wilds in a lot longer. I'm trying to think what was the last fort I did on Tundra. I think le less Tundra, but like... I did that... that uh, Ghost Razor, I think, was on Tundra. I did a Glacier Fort um, on Sunbirths. So... Actually, wasn't, gla wasn't Sunbirths like half Glacier, half Tundra? portion of it was Tundra. Inku, thank you very much for the... I think I butchered that, probably. Uh, thank you for the, the Prime subscription. And if I butchered your name, please yell at me, and I will unbutcher it. I don't know how, how you do that, I, I, but I do have lots of duct tape and super glue, so I'll do my best. Hey, Dominoc, what's up? And uh, 420 Sandshrews. Where can we find the most Sandshrews? Um, in my Twitch chat, probably. Because there's 420 of them, allegedly. Uh, tricky tree. Hold on. Duct tape and super glue fixes almost anything. Especially butchered usernames. Is 
So when your world baron died, it's been st stuck at mayor for a long time. Will I ever evolve into a baron again? So if you look at the civilization screen, it will, and you hover your mouse over your civ, it'll say who your royals are. Um, it'll say probably the name of your fort under one of them, and there will be a baron of your fort underneath one of those. That guy needs to die. And then somebody in your fort needs to inherit the role, basically. If you don't have a line of succession in your fort, ooh, human necromancers became the absolute something. Lots of humans becoming obsessed with the their lack of mortality. Look at how many of them. There's so many humans becoming obsessed with their abs with their with their mortality. Also. There is a religion that has a high, f a, a religious figure called the Absolute Way. I think I can say that they know the way. So basically, Hoomst, you, you absolutely can get a Baron again. It's just very unlikely, I will say. It might take a very, 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 very long time. I was waiting for someone to, to say that this is this is the Absolute Way. Became the most high moistness. There we go. Awesome. Ward Owl is pretty good. The Foggy Seasons. The Untamed League. As long as it's not the Untamed League of Legends. I'm seeing human... El Elven Hillocks? Oh, well, that's... Dwarves and Elves Wars is what that is. Yeah, forest retreats. Lots of human forest retreats as well as elven forest retreats and destroyed forest retreats. There's big war going on here. I don't know, chat. What kind of biome would you like to see us settle in? Because, I don't know, we got a lot of options. <laughs> we really, really, really got a lot of options. Really, really, really got a lot of options. Now you missed something? Yep, uh, it's in the experimental branch. It's not uh, been officially announced anywhere that I've noticed. Um, Treehouse Fort Joyous Wild. Reclaiming Fort's interesting, not really. I think reclaiming your old destroyed forts can be interesting. I think reclaiming default forts is bleh. If you wanna see me reclaim a, f uh, a fort, look up Brave Book. Unicorn glue factory is pretty tempting. The thing is, the, the default forts, like the dwarven forts that you can reclaim usually, are literally just like a square with like labyrinthine mazes in them. And they're just kind of a pain in the ass to build in. They can be kind of exciting initially because like you'll be digging down, down, down and exploring them. And then suddenly just like out of nowhere, surprise fucking like forgotten beast in a room in the basement. Which is fun, but aside from that, once you kind of get through the exploring portion, it's just kind of an annoying area to build in. And thanks for all the follows, by the way. I'm getting quite a few follows right now. If you're watching the stream for the first time, uh, Dwarf Fortress is basically all I do. Although this evening, believe it or not, chat, we are going to play a different game. This evening, we are going to be playing a video game that I bought the other day that I want to play. So we're, we're going to play it. Uh, we're we're going to be playing uh, this this evening. Home safety hotline. Are you streaming it here? It's, uh, you, you have bad Windows 98 interface, and you have a job of helping people keep their homes safe. It's absolutely a horror game, but uh, it takes a couple hours to beat, supposedly. Has some puzzles, and those should be a bit of fun. You know, one of these days, people will learn how to spell Fortnite correctly, and then we can make some real jokes out of uh, out of me becoming a Fortnite streamer. It's like if I do a marathon at some point where I stream every day for two weeks, we can call it the weeks of Fortnite or something. <laughs> the Scorching Group, a bunch of, bunch of pyromaniacs. The dutiful paddles, the emerald iron. The willpower come willpower come full circle was created by Moss Bears, or somebody in Moss Bears. I missed the name.
I, okay, that's, that's above me. <laughs> I have no idea what any of that means, no man, but I'll assume that that's real. Start, start your day with art. Elfie's in this world already. Damn. Somebody wrote a book called Start Your Day With Art. You know, honestly, to a degree, I, I, could, I could agree with that. We, we've got morning routines in this world. That's how you know it's a good world. Also, we got the YouTube stream up to 61 likes, which is good. I think we can get it up to 80. We're at 90 concurrent viewers on the YouTube side of things. So thanks to everybody watching on YouTube. You just roll your eyes every time? I mean, as you bloody well should. Uh, in the early spring of 499, the dragon fa Fassi jewel flickered the wealthy, routed the bejeweled responsibilities of an unknown civilization, and destroyed Confused Tower. <laughs> so a tower just got routed by a dragon. I'm going to look up Jewel flickered the wealthy in Legends. Who is this Dorgan? Murphis, thanks for the 18th month with Prime. Welcome back. It's good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. And thanks for the support over all these years. Just when you thought you were out, they, they pull you back in. Welcome to Dwarf Fortress. You missed the notification because you were playing DF. Hey! Rex out. I wonder, how many people are playing DF right now? Let's find out. 1,049. Chat room, just show of hands. Who currently has Dwarf Fortress on Steam running on their computer? I wonder how I wonder how much of the current percentage of the Dwarf Fortress player base on Steam is actively watching this stream. It's got to be, like, at least 5%. Maybe more. <laughs> it's actually kind of weird when I think about that. I'm not going to lie. Like, that, that, that shit weirds me out a bit. Like to watch while playing? To a pool. Ah, uh, I mean, I'm just kind of doing a show of hands. I could do a pool. I'd have to open up Twitch to do a pool, though. Prize and wrist brace? How long until you can take the wrist brace off, Elfie? Confused Tower was a hamlet. Okay. So that dragon, oh wow, uh, was the wealthy treasure was a dragon. It was one of the first, one of the only ones of his kind, uh, was associated with wealth and fires. Um, settled and healed, cra hailed, cracked, and didn't really do much uh, for quite some time. Un Actually, I wonder. Oh, I can't, 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 can't page up, page down in here just yet. Can I throw up an arrow down? No. Um... Yeah, it didn't really do much until, like, the 300s or so, and then started attacking things. Only has 12 notable kills. Damn. Still alive. Do you have any children? Oh, I see. 45 other kills. 12 notable, 45 other. Uh, it doesn't have any uh, children. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's take a real quick skim. Oh! I'm immediately seeing dragon, rock, bronze colossus, hide or dead, bronze colossus, dragon. Mm. Rono, the sweltering warmth. Gotta love it. It's like last summer. Uh, another rock, hide or dead, <laughs> bronze colossus alive. Rock, rock, dragon, dead. Uh, Hydra alive. All right, well, we got hydras and dragons. Dragon, rock. That's good to see. Plenty of zombies. Um, how far I have to scroll? I'm gonna check just some random goblin. Where did you settle? Dungeon Vised. So this is where a spire is. I'm looking for specifically trolls. Uh, 
not seeing any notable trolls. Although I can't remember how often you would see notable trolls. Um, lots of things getting murdered. Problem is, is because trolls don't talk. They often notable troll a band name. That'd be a pretty good band name. <laughs> the pursuit of trees was uh, stored by an elf. Well, that checks out. The elf preached the bold order, urging love to be shown to the seasonal coven at Dungeon Vise. Someone is asking for a religion to be formed. Remember to buy your NFTs at GameStop. Today is the last day their marketplace is open. Man, that's a lot of money down the drain. All right, well. Chat room, I've generated this world. I'm going to chuck it up onto... Uh, the save sharing room. And then we'll get started. Also, I guess that would mean you could theoretically load this save up on... The Realm of Destiny! It was meant to be. I guess that this kind of sort of means that you could probably, like, back transfer this world to older versions. Or, like, generate a... Generate a new world on version 5012 and then move it backwards. Zip. What's up with the new patch? Well, I mean, if if you um mess around in in this new version, I have to restart it because I renamed the folder. Um, if you. mess around with this world. <laughs> it's uploading and uploaded. You should get the new features from the world gen stuff. Start new game in existing world. The realm of destiny. Shall we begin? Covered your Twitch account. Last time it was used was 2020 just to watch the stream. Really? At nighted. Well, it says that uh, you have two total messages in my chat, so I've never seen... You, you've li apparently never written in my chat before. But um, If you were uh, here in 2020, well, welcome back. Good to see you, At nighted. And also, you guys can just go fiddle around in legends and find stuff for me. Strange question. Does wild garlic not produce seeds? Uh, not necessarily the first... Wait, are you talking about real garlic or in video game garlic? Because video game garlic... I don't know. <laughs> real world garlic, not necessarily the first year it's planted. <laughs> I, I, I I don't actually know about in-game garlic. <laughs> so, I, I grow garlic in real life. I have like 80 garlic bulbs uh, within walking distance of my apartment a gorilla planted around the building's garden. So, that... Sorry, I, I, I grow myself like a year's supply of garlic every year. <laughs> you've never been on the Twitch side, you've been on the YouTube streams? Gotcha, but you wanted to join the conversations a bit more? Well, welcome. Hi. Ads are harder to block on Twitch, but if you, you seem to have Prime, so if you happen to have Prime, you could get ad-free viewing and give me like two bucks. Gardening with blind. You know, people. many people have joked about how long is it going to be before I make a YouTube channel gar like dedicated specifically to gardening. 
Well, you have the prime badge, which means you have prime. That's what the little like crown thingy next to your name means. So if you click on the subscribe button, which tries to ask you for money, there's a little tiny tick you can click if you have prime and it'll let you sub for free. There you go. Do you need cold? Do I need cold to stratify the garlic in video game or real life? You need to dry out garlic in real life. In the video game, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see if that crashes it. Okay. Um. And uh, Fran Fra Francisco, thank you very much. I I'm probably butchering your name. Thank you very much for the YouTube membership. Appreciate you. Um, and then let's hide tutorials. I definitely need those. Although I may need to use that again. All right. Well, let's let's see who our origin civilizations are. We got the roasted seals. That's good. The kobold town, also good. Kind of dead though. <laughs> kind of really dead, actually. Uh, we got the the also pretty dead. Yeah. See, th this this is more dwarfy in medium age, where like a lot of dwarves are just dead. Um, the dutiful paddles, uh, the, oh, there's a successful faction. Uh, the veiled halls, of course, with a name like that. The vestibule of passes, I, that's way too many syllables. The comedic, the, the comedic abbey. This is actually just like a, a hole in the wall pub in New York. Um, checks out with the population too. <laughs> um, the castle of fellowship, okay. Uh, then we have the Paddle of Oils. Ooh, they're having a rough time. Uh, the Books of Dwelling. Rip. Uh, the Emerald Irons. Okay. And the Glacial Abbey. Cobalt Town is just one town. Cobalt Town is pro, pro If there isn't a place in the UK that has a football team called Cobalt Town, I will be mildly surprised. Where is their site even? It says they have a site. This makes you want garlic bread or gar garlic naan with bread with curry? Mm. Yeah, I could go for some. I could go for some garlic naan with curry. Yeah, no, that's, now I'm hungry. Thanks. Um... Dutiful Halls seems like the most successful faction. Comedic Abbey is just a funny name. I like how, like, bunched together the roasted seals are. Is that a good lake? Okay, no, it's a, it's a tropical freshwater lake. Who's here? Curious who's close to that lake. This would be the fact, like, we, we'd play the Emerald Irons if we wanted to be in that good biome. You can put blocks in bins. Boulders are too big to put in bins. Because boulders are bigger than bins in most cases. But you can make those boulders into blocks and put those into bins. I thought it said the rock of lobsters. The rack of lobsters. Honestly, you know, the rack of lobsters sounds like a buffet special that they'd have at Red Lobster. <laughs> it really does just it's straight up set like that that's like the like a like a, a weekend deal at Red Lobster. Just Man, this would be a scary ass forest. Or scary area. I use quantum stockpiles for all kinds of things, too. Nothing wrong with quantum stockpiling. Terrifying thing. On dark, dark goblin areas. So I want to be somewhere where there's a lot of goblins. That's kind of, like, the main thing. Chat was saying a lot of joyous wilds. Um, there is joyous wilds up here, which has silver and copper and redundant flux stone. It's because it all has copper. Is there any with iron? Gold, silver, lead? Ugh. I'm totally okay with doing just copper and silver, though. I 
I kind of wish that the mountains were good. That's just mirthful. Ooh, okay. Noted. Because this is Temperate Savannah. There's elves and goblins. What's funny is the elves are hostile, but the goblins aren't. <laughs> um, hold on. Let, let's just um, check this. The Icy Clout. Ooh, that's a good name. Emerald Irons. Okay, so the, the, these are the elves over here. There's also some elves down here. Although... Nope, never mind. Those aren't elves. Those are goblins. Morning, Creed. It's still morning here. How do you guys get inspiration and what and how to build your fortresses? I just kind of play it by ear and come up with, like, endgame goals as I go. Um... But I've been playing this game for a really long time. If you need a pile of ideas, I'm, I swear I may have made a command for this, but I always forget what it is. So I just Google it every time. Uh, there's this very helpful page on the DF Wiki called Playstyle Challenge. I'll also link this for the YouTube folks for people who want it. Playstyle Challenge is this. Um, it is just a list of player-invented end goals or, like, win conditions for Dwarf Fortress that have existed for a really long time. Um, so some of these require adventure mode, though, so keep that in mind. Um, but just scroll down this. One of my, Some of them are, like, jokes. One of them is, like, be French or something to that, like, extent, which is literally just kill the kill the king slash queen behead the king slash queen um and there's plenty that are just like you know rping after tv shows and whatnot but these will give you like an idea and if you go in with like say let, let's play as minimalist you can o only dig stone you need uh there should be no unused stones on the map bonus no spare items or furniture also mega bonus no wars as war leaves corpses and other useless crap like st stuff like that like just Go into a fort with a specific mindset or, like, a specific end goal and do that. Never stops to impress you. Yeah, no, I, I mean, well, the, the, this is a community thing, not not a developer thing, but. Okay, so. It seems like you guys want me to play in Joyous Wilds, from what I gather. Shot for every forgotten beast that grows. That's a that's a playstyle choice, not a playstyle challenge. Using V50 graphics, I'm pretty partial to Rock Salt. Honestly, I think Rock Salt has a really nice, almost like off salmon pink color to it. I also quite like Jet. I think Jet's po possibly the most popular. Um, traditionally, in older versions, I loved Microcline. Dolomite and, and um, marble are also nice. When you've got jet, uh, build with jet all the way. No, totally. So there's just a scarce sand desert in the middle here. I think if we're going to do Joyous Wilds, let's just do Joyous Wilds. I'm not going to do like a multi-biome split thing. And uh, we can absolutely get by with sand, soil, and light aquifer with uh, silver and copper. Uh, you mean olivine would be the green one, probably? Or I can move a little over here, and we could also get clay. What's the elevation like? Ooh. You know, I'm just going to do a real quick test embark right here. Just gonna do a real quick test embark. I'm just gonna click play now. And uh, we're just gonna see what this looks like. Game's paused. What do you think? Waterfall? Splitting rivers? 
Not as copper bearing, but uh, you have to allow it to use tetrahedrite. Looks cold. <laughs> eh, looks homey. But it's a good biome. We got feather trees. Um, let's unpause the game for a few seconds. Pause it again. Oh, also, I can, uh, but before we actually dive in proper, I can show you guys some of the UI changes now. This is all vanilla. Like, this is no DF hack. This is all vanilla. So, like, you know, you can type in English. You can search dwarves now. You can also search your livestock. Um, you can search by name. You can search by main profession, so their top profession, and you, you can sort them quicker by doing this. So it'll sort them by profession. Um, it will just put by default it'll just put all your legendaries at the top regardless of skill but and then you can sort by their secondary profession uh which is also useful um you can also sort by moods um this might crash the game let's see if it still does uh if you go into your work details now you can click this button for the default ones and you can see what they do and you can edit them so for farming say i want to add let's say i don't know Milling and plant gather, or just let's just say milling and brewing to farming. Done? Yep, still crashes the game. <laughs> Don't click the done button. <laughs> they they haven't pushed that patch yet. I reported that I reported that bug uh, last night at like eleven thirty, and Putnam's like, "Oh, I found a fix." You could make fishing something completely different, which is very radical. But yeah, just 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 be wary. It's, it's still still crashes. <laughs> and that's why it's in the beta branch, not the main branch. Does the music sound warbly for anyone else? Plus, uh, pr press play pause on the stream, and that should fix it. We're also in an ad break anyway. So. After your orderlies. Uh, uh, to take on actual ordering duty, to take on actual doctoring duties. Do you need? Do you still need to assign doctors at the hospital, or can they sort it out themselves? I don't know, but I guess I'd have to test that. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, we we need that patch to come in so it doesn't crash the game now. Uh, where was that spot? It was right here. If there's any other cool spots. There's a few cool spots. Let's let's just pan around a little bit. This could also be a cool one. All joyous wilds. That one's mirthful. This one's also joyous wilds. I'm just looking at other interesting points here. This might be an interesting one. Let's try this one. Little wet of everlasting. Ooh. Ooh. Is that a double waterfall? <gasps> That's a double waterfall. Okay, I, I, I might be a keeper. That might be a keeper. Double waterfall all the way across the sky. Sold to the double waterfall for 249 dwarf bucks. Let's unpause for a few seconds, and uh, then I'll pause again. All right, so let's check other. It's just ravens currently. This is untamed um, or joyous wilds, but yeah. So you you can edit the jobs now. I think if you just hit right click, it won't crash the game. So you you will be able to edit these. <laughs> um, another one which I'm I'm just gonna chuck a dwarf into the military. Real shut up. I'm just gonna chuck a dwarf into the military real, real quick so I can show you guys this too. Um, so now we also have this sorting in the menus. So once again, you can sort by jobs. None of them have any combat skills, but if they did, it would say what their combat skill is. Again, if you click stuff, it'll say who's been selected, um, which I'm just going to move. Uh-oh. Huh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Platinum, I found a bug! Can't remove dwarves from the military without deleting the squad, I think. I have a question. If I put one dwarf into the military, can 
can reselect that dwarf. Can I remove him? Okay, so if all of your dwarves in the entire fort are in the mil- Can somebody clip this, please? If all of your dwarves are in the military, you can't remove dwarves from the military. <laughs> in the this is why it's not in the main branch. Anyway, um, it does work, though. It is cool. And uh, when there's dwarves with skills, it shows their skills there. Service is mandatory, yes. You will not avoid. Um, also, I'll show you guys a new kitchen screen since we're in here. Uh, kitchen. Um, so these are, this This feels like a placeholder button. Like it. Fe this, this feels like tarn art, just like this weird black rectangle with a plus and minus in it. So I, did, I, I feel like that might be temporary, um, but you can now have all food types in one screen and search in them. You can filter the different plant types. Uh, you can filter by the amount of plant type that you have. Um, you can add and remove stuff like you did before from cooking and all that stuff. Thank you very much. I'm going to DM that to Putnam right now. Uh... Although less of a bug and more of an oversight. Um... She <laughs> could tell you worked until 3 a.m. last night for the month then. Hopefully you're done with it now, though. Make a checklist. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, the update is in the um, it's in the experimental branch if you want to try it, but be I've careful. Been signed up. Guess I can't back out now. I mean, if you can't afford it, please back out. But thank you very much for the prime sub for the fifth month. Uh, so yeah, no, th th this menu has been like has gotten a big overhaul. Also, obviously, I can't show it to you because I don't have any people in prison right now. Uh, but the same sorting screen for this screen and for this screen is also in the Justice Intelligence screen. So you can use that to search for different characters. Also, it okay, it's not doing it here. But in that screen, you can search by human, from what I can tell. And it seems like when you search for human, it shows every human on the map in the Justice screen. So if you're trying to find a particular guest, it's a lot easier now. I, I know it was a joke about the military bug, and I was, I was just trying to rebuttal it back at you, but if it missed, I'm sorry. Regardless, thank you very much for the Prime subscription for a fifth month. Um, although, technically, I would also argue that like you should unsubscribe from Prime if you can't afford it. It's not that great of a service. Uh, but let's let's quit without saving. Blind, you've come so far. Eh? Number one DF streamer. I think I've been the number one DF streamer for a really long time. It's just obvious now that I'm the number one DF streamer. But thank you. Like, I would argue I've been the number one DF streamer since, like, 2020. Because they've always been that strong, they got nerfed. So vampires... So, if you, once again, if you don't like vampires and you don't want to deal with vampires, you can disable them completely, right? Vampires are supposed to be a thing that sneak into your fort. They're literally, like... I mean, y'all know Among Us, right? They are the imposter. Roms, thank you very much for the fort... Uh, not 14th month. The 27th month! Good to see you, by the way. We've been well. Like, literally the most humble streamer. I don't I don't know about that. <laughs> I can be kind of a self-absorbed know-it-all, but I think you have to be somewhat neurotic to do well in this kind of industry. But, um, yeah, anyway, vampires are, are supposed to be sus. And, like, what you're supposed to do with vampires is engage with the justice system instead of just like locking them up immediately right so what you want to have happen with a vampire and the way the vampires are supposed to work is they're supposed to sleuth their way into your fort probably be way older than everybody they're lying about their name they're lying about their identity and it's something that you're supposed to find and suss out and figure out discover and that's fun look at the kill history sure no totally look and see if they're drinking right that that's that's how you find vampires um but they didn't get a buff they were always this strong version 50 nerfed them to the point where they might as well not exist so vampires exist again which is great although actually i wonder if they drink now hmm. and then once discovered they permanently become vampires so if if your uh, captain of the guard is able to interrogate them then they should I haven't seen them, obviously. Become red? Not blue. So vampires 
look like normal dwarves, normal skin tone and everything. When they're feeding, they become red. When you interrogate them and they admit what they are, they become red, basically. That's, that's the way they always worked before. I'm assuming they're gonna become red again? I haven't seen one. And I haven't actually had a vampire in a fort of mine in a very long time. If any of you have a fort running right now with a known vampire in it, please open up that fort and uh, see what color it is. In this version. I, I should note that. We post world rewrite, maybe we'll get something like tectonic plates, but like, would it be possible? Sure. Will it happen soon? Doubt it. Will it happen? Probably not. Institutionalized vampire racism. Is vampire a race? I would say vampire is more of an illness than a race. It's just an, un it's like a chronic, uncurable illness. You have selected an area with a light aquifer. Water might need to be pumped out or carried away. I actually, I need to make sure I'm playing the right faction. Choose origin civilization. Emerald iron, sweet. So we are now the emerald irons. We are settling in, you know what? I'm just gonna screenshot this for people. Uh, plop this into the discord. So when people ask me, what 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 do you have on this map? And I, and I instead of being saying, uh, I don't remember, I, I can just post a thing. It's like AIDS. Man, I can make some awful jokes out of that. I'm not going to. Yeah, it's similar to lycanthropy. Ly lycanthropy. Lycanthropy? Like I can throppy. Can you even carry away water quick enough? In what case? What? That's how the infection starts. Yep. And then it can be passed from dwarf to dwarf, but it doesn't generally. All right, well. What am I bringing? Does faction have anything fun? I don't see anything fun, Sag. Kind of weirdly want to bring reindeer for some reason. It's because there's water, there's snow everywhere on this map. Question about the Embark. Uh, the things that show uh, that are present in the area represents the whole Embark or the square that the mouse is on. Exactly where the mouse currently is sitting. What is this quackery? Hmm? Yep, yeah, that'll infect the fort. If a dwarf consumes vampire blood, they become a vampire. I like how that's kind of backwards from the way a lot of stuff does it. I do. Nameless. Someone was saying that... Sil I, I looked on Discord this morning and someone said something about Silly Season and I then, like, got up and made breakfast and turned my stream on and I haven't looked. What happened? Did someone get traded? I don't worry about news spoilers. You can tell me about news stuff. Just no race spoilers in chat. Lewis Hamilton is leaving Mercedes at the end of the year for Ferrari. So who's going to Mercedes? Do we know? And who's he replacing? Because damn. No one knows? Huh. Let the games begin. This was a really boring, silly season, so I'm glad that something crazy's happened. He's <laughs> replacing signs. <laughs> Let the games begin. All right. Well, I don't really want to bring hunting dogs because all that's going to happen is 
I'm just, I'm, you know, honestly, I'm just going to bring two reindeers. Two ladies, one boy. 5% chance of boy not work. That's fine. It's about damn time something fun happened, Nameless. We haven't had something like this in, since, like, Alonzo left. Uh, I was doing quick embarks to check what areas looked like and not preparing carefully and then quitting without saving. So, yes, but no. Technically, we embarked twice. MA sent 6 4. Was that three female reindeer? There's two. Well, actually, I brought two female calves. I, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, reindeer cow, that's what I want. I see what I did wrong. One bull, two cows. I brought calves instead. That was the problem. No seeds, no anvil? You say no seeds like that would be hard. No anvil would also be easy. You just trade for an anvil. I mean, I could do that. Do you want me to do that? I mean, like, no anvil's easy. Yeah, I would just trade for an anvil on the first trading. And then no seeds would just be, well, I will get seeds from my plump helmets as I consume them. All right. Done. Um, well, now we got a bunch of extra points to spend. Might as well bring some extra picks. I'm going to have to go down to the caverns anyway because it's Untamed Wilds. Do not need those. Waste of points. Um. Joyous is untamed. Just an FYI. I'm going to bring slightly nicer picks with us because I have extra points, so why not? Let's bring bronze picks. Three of them. Uh, let's also bring bronze axes. There's nothing hard about no plump helmets. Like, genuinely, there there is nothing hard about that. You have to go into the caverns? It means the wildlife on the surface is spicy and will attack us for very little reason. <laughs> and building on the surface will be difficult, is what it means. Uh, it basically means I need to start digging really quickly and get underground. And uni unicorns are mean... They're not that bad. There are worse animals that you could have to fight against, but they 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 are, they can be pretty mean. Because while you're building it, they will murder you to death. <laughs> That's why. Basically, you can't start by building above ground. You in in an untamed biome, you have to start building underground, and then as you get migrants, work your way above ground. Basically, how about <laughs> unicorns are jerks? Yeah, it's not it's not wrong. Just like real life, in, except in real life, they just have commitment issues. Uh, in, in video games, they, they're jerks. I'm gonna bring some geese. They'll defend us from the unicorns. I mean, personally, I think, like, having a fl flying giant un enemy is worse than any land-based enemy. They're still unending Ant-Man. You can nerf them really easily, which I generally do. Not because they're too hard to kill, but because they, like, have this annoying tendency of just infinitely <laughs> appearing in very large quantities. It's more just, like, they're annoying. Uh, I'm going to bring al extra alcohol for starts just to compensate for... Well, I mean, I can get surface plants, but lack of seeds. Um, let's... I don't know what else should I bring. You 
know what? We're settling somewhere scary, so let, let's bring some uh, toy hammers and some toy boats for the kids that inevitably end up showing up. And... I already removed plump helmets. No, I didn't. Plants. There you go. No plump helmets. There you go. Uh... Could ant traps be a thing? Well, I mean, they're they're human-sized ants, or person-sized ants, basically, right? So, I mean, weapon traps would hurt them, yeah? A nice instrument to raise morale. I don't know what they, they'd use, but sure, we could bring an instrument. I don't actually know where instruments are in this list. I've never brought, I haven't brought an instrument with me in this version, not once. I just need to spot it in this list. There they are. Um, well, I can't bring any of the iron ones. Oh, well, it's too expensive. Same with the brass and platinum. Jeez, expensive. Can I afford any of these? I bring like a a a, a Gedor. Yeah, a lot of these require materials I can't make. I could bring a Gedor. Which is like a, a, a stringed handheld thing. Uh, if you're having tantrum spirals... It means there is a 100% chance that you are not doing enough to keep your dwarves happy. Or you are intentionally ignoring or unknowingly ignoring certain mechanics which can make the dwarves very happy. Which is difficult for me to suss out just based on that question, so. Uh, let's bring a claystone Gedor. There you go. I got 37 points left. I'm gonna bring an extra bag and a piece of thread and I don't know. Two extra units of dwarven wine. I don't have anything that costs one point, so <laughs> we're SOL. Um, dwarves, okay, so. Hmm. Troll fix in, so made new world, but Troll fix only in experimental branch, and experimental branch is very crashy. So it's going to be chat's job to tell me to quick save constantly. Why are quivers in the standard lo loadout if crossbows aren't? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> I've never thought about it too hard, to be honest with you. Probably because crossbows are really, really easy to just make out of wood, if I had to bet. Like, if, if you want crossbows, just, just make some wood ones. I haven't made a new goal yet because this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Ladders are very important for surface forts, I would say. I don't think that the default jobs are particularly important, to be honest with you. Which led, you had some fun interactions with Batman, which led to a starting fort of four. You must have had a bunch of comedians in your fort. I'm trying to set, decide what skills to bring. We do have silver and copper. I'm kind of tempted to just give all of my starting dwarves some points in weapon smithing and armor smithing and then just starting off with two armor smiths or a, an armor smiths and a weapon smith skilled let's go armor smith weapon smith 
Armor Smith. Weapon Smith. Do that. Uh, you. Well, I think everybody's gonna get points in dodging. <laughs> Probably. Two points in dodging and two points in fighting, because we'll need that in early. Everybody's gonna be a decent fighter. Getting adequate or competent in each one. Except for uh, Rigoth here, who's going to be a proficient biter. Um, these two up here. I'm going to give you some points in planting because we're going to need to get that rolling quickly. points in wood cutting. Need some doctor medical skills for an early hospital. They tend to learn doctor skills pretty quick. If we need an early hospital, we have bigger problems, is what I'll say. Last, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Zafoy is paying forward the uh, gift sub from last group. Thank you very much for checking out a gift. Appreciate you. And thanks for continuing the gift sub. Means a lot, dude. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. We can have mining. Now we need to name the fort. Hair Yearn! I... I hate it. It's awful. Alright, well, we can do better than that. What, what about you? The Frilly Boulders. <laughs> I kind of like that one. How about the, uh... Oh... Uh, the dutiful boulders. Cannon isn't a word. I'm sad. There's a new patch on the uh, experimental branch. Be careful when running it. It's an experimental for a reason. It's crashy. It's buggy. It has soft blocks. Be careful. Um, but if you want to try it, there's also a beta branch for, um, a DF hack as well. Can trolls be rear compound? What? Oh. Is like, does like the troll word troll work? Uh, dwarves do not have a word for troll, no. I kind of like the dutiful boulders. I think we're, we're, we're going to call our group the dutiful boulders. And, um... The <laughs> cranky neighbors. We're in, a, we're in a joyous wilds biome. I don't know. I think, I think our fortress should, uh... Properly represent that. Compound these nuts. Nameless. Oh, they so it is no no longer in fact blue power tools. Yay! That's good. Um, let's go with You know, chat, I have a question for you. A very important question. What do millennial dwarves eat? You think Joyous Wild should be bent to the will of dwarf kind? Yeah, there you go. Quinoa? Shh. Come on. Avocado roast. I don't know. I think lamb toast checks. Checks out. It's not vegan. Dwarves ain't humans. I didn't say human millennials. I said dwarven millennials, but okay. Dwarves will literally eat fat fried fat with fat on fat, deep fried in fat, baked with fat, made into a biscuit. Wait, sorry. 
So do most people in America. Anyway, um, let's let's see what else we have. And they get weirded out by about us eating like fat on our French fries. Uh, the word avocado doesn't exist, but dwarves do in fact have avocado. Or at least there's avocado trees. I'm pretty sure there's avocado fruit. Unless I'm like imagining that. Hold on, I got a funny name. Surprise. Exit. <laughs> uh, are dwarven millennials from the year 1000 or f one, ooh, zero 1000? I think d dwarven millennials are like year 992. Would be the end of it. Or maybe nine, 996 would be the end of it, and it would be like, what, nine, 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 eight, 980 or something that they start? Trying to think like real world numbers. I don't actually know when millennials start. I know 1996 is the last. Which means a dwarven zoomer would be like year 1000. <laughs> year 1001 and beyond would be a dwarven zoomer. Surprise exit of waterfalls? I, I mean, I'm not going with surprise exit. I just thought it was funny. I wanted to type it in. I tend to put the word water in my forts too often, but douse water is pretty good. So yeah, then it would be year 980 to year 996. And magma splashing bridges. I mean, we could go with moist beards. I'm, I'm totally okay with this, but I feel like it might upset some people. How about Firebeard? That's more the last fort I built. Dark wall was moist exit. Although it's more moist entrance. Ugh, that's worse. Flower beard? When you're going to San Francisco, <laughs> put flowers in your pants. <laughs> Actually, yeah, is the word does the word two exist? Two does. Two beard is pretty good. Two falls also pretty good. No bummed. Is an odd translation. Ooh, River Cauldron. River Cot. Dang it, no cauldron word. River Bowl. Not, I would do that, but that just sounds like a football thing. <laughs> the River Bowl is right before the Dust Bowl. River Pot. River pit. To beard or not to beard? That is the beard. They're currently rocking peace dagger. So I have a question. When, when, when you do uh, peaceful negotiations, do you hand them the dagger or do you stab them with the dagger? <laughs> It's like Peace Dagger, and like the image of like the fortress is just like a dwarf stabbing the ever living shit out of something with a dagger. Pit Spittle's pretty good. A giant ass water fed pit. Why do I have to put a donkey in it? 
The symbol of the dagger is striking down an adder. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, I think um, I think we're gonna go with River Pit, and the image is gonna be. If, if it's pro tip, if you set this down at the bottom to zero, you get unlimited. Uh, so an image of dwarves, many dwarves, and an image of trolls. And a troll. Hmm. Should it be many trolls or a troll, chat? What is a moon troll? Uh, an adventure mode thing. One troll? Many? One? Also, we hit 100 likes on the YouTube stream. Thanks, YouTube. Okay, so what we're gonna do. Ooh, hold up. And waves. The waves are devouring the troll. The troll is screaming. The waves are striking a menacing pose. The dwarves are laughing. The dwarves are striking a menacing pose. Ooh, can I do a vampire? I don't know if I can do a vampire. Yeah, vampire isn't a creature. I would have to find a historical vampire. But I don't know the name of any historical vampires. <laughs> Um, so in order to do a vampire, I would, I would need to know who one was. Isn't River Pit more of a pond or a lake? Hmm. Let, let, let's, let me just call, let me just name this and we'll think about it. The... The, pu the Pools of Purity. Okay, that's pretty good. Our, our symbol is called the Pools of pur Purity. We're sticking with that. Uh, isn't River... I, I guess... I mean... I could literally call it Waterfall. I mean, I could call it River Falls. Which was another suggestion. River Fallen! Blackhawk Down. <laughs> But uh, the moon trolls or night trolls in general are terrifying creatures that only appear in adventure mode. They're basically highwaymen. Some of them are shapeshifters. Uh, they are terrifying. River Fall in the Deep. I don't like adding thes to the fortress names for some reason. They, they never do it in the overworld, so it feels weird. To me, to have my fortress be like thing of thing, the thing of thing, or the thing of things or whatever is weird because the dwarves fortresses on the overworld are always called word word. And the group is called always called the word of whatever, right? So it's it's odd to me to add more to it. I mean, like, I can it. I, I can do it. Or the, the falls of falling. Like, I, I could do that, but it just it doesn't look right, especially in the overworld. It also doesn't fit in the UI in some screens. If you could make Watership down. No. Also, by the way, I will tell you right now, console's not a word. 
Uh, I, I will tell you right now, Watership Down is one of the few movies that's given me genuine nightmares. <laughs> I saw that movie way too young. Ugh. Move, that movie was horrific. Absolutely horrific. I should watch it again, though. You were a highwayman along uh, Coach Roads. You did ride with a... You did ride with a sword and pistol by your side. Hell yeah. Wait, actually? I can't, I can't tell if this is like a quote from something or what. See, I saw Event Horizon at... Oh, it's, it's from a song. Gotcha. Uh, I, I saw Event Horizon at the right age and loved that movie. I mean, that's what my grandma thought. Cinefield. That's what my grandma thought. Ended up naming your last fortress Abbey Road because Abbey is the first word there and they symbol for the dwarves who are walking. Did you have a lot of pet beetles? All right. Um, I can see that. Plum on up. I can absolutely see that. All right, chat. We got our starting seven. We got our citizens. We got our, our, our group name is River Falls... Our fortress is called the Dutiful Boulders. The symbol is an image of dwarves, waves, a troll, and waves. The waves are devouring the troll. The troll is screaming. The waves are striking a menacing pose. The dwarves are laughing. The, the, the dwarves are striking a menacing pose. And the name of it is the Pools of Purity. Didn't last that long. All right. Well, rest in peace, Abbey Road, I suppose. Somebody else is suggesting River Deep. Chat, River Falls or River Deep? Because we do have two waterfalls on the map. We could also call it Deep Falls. River Depths, oh boy. River. River Depths. I'm gonna go chaotic and we'll just call it River Depths. But now we're kind of back to like water pit or whatever. To winter deep? I don't know who that is. Or rather, I don't know who Clamavi is. Uh, okay, so now you make a surprise moat to build to, to, to blind your enemies. The problem is water freezes on this map. So the stuff I can actually do with water is going to be limited to seasons, depending on how long the water freezes for. All right. Ladies and dwarfs, friends and gents, non-binary individuals alike, Strike the earth. Consider it struck. Playing with temperature? Are you asking, am I turning off temperature? I've never turned off temperature. What? You have arrived after a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond. Your harsh trek has finally ended and your party of seven. I like how the last time we tested this was over here. Um, your harsh track has finally ended, and your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all, Sedertan. There is almost no supplies left, but stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You are expecting a supply caravan just before the winter entombs you. But it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings. Ere the dingoes get hungry, a new chapter of dwarven history begins here at this place. I I I I Igoramas? Igoramas. River depths. Break the earth. Good. God almighty, snow is bright. How is that geologically possible? I'm going to do my best Zoidberg impression, which isn't very good. I well, don't about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I mean, you know, honestly, probably what it is, is there's, like, 
cliffs on either side, and then like a river that parted somewhere and then started flowing and then fell down and ended up in the same place. As for how are the rivers meeting in the middle and then going off in different directions again? It's like, bitch, have you seen the Grand Canyon? But yeah, no, it's definitely just a canyon. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, quick save. Because the game doesn't actually save until you get to the... Five percent question mark. Five percent me, probably. Ten points to blind. Thanks for the points. <laughs> you get credit where credit is due. Hell yeah. Might melt some of the snow. I'm just going to save. I'm also noting some, noticing some graphical changes, like there's tiny little black squares around the backs of these. I also don't know if that's intentional. This U piece of UI also seems way darker than with this. Like it's almost like, it almost feels like there's assets missing in this build. Like it feels like there's assets missing from this and it feels like there's assets missing from this. All right. Uh, disable overlay and um, what's the other thing I need to do? Uh, tutorials. All right. A toll map? A toll map. You mean a tall map? I don't know what you mean. I guess it does. Any plans for this fort? Nope. Just try and find trolls, mostly. Unpause. Let's see if the snow starts to melt. Around the dwarves a little bit. What do we have on the map? Giant grackles. That's going to be a pain. All right. I guess we're uh, taming giant grackles, then. Nobody does fishing. We don't need fishing. <laughs> oh, dig. Well, I mean, they're not aggravated yet. But yes, we do need to start digging. I think my the, my mouse sensor is not detecting properly today. Need to fix that again. Okay. <laughs> this thing doesn't look friend shaped. No. We're gonna start off by chopping down a single tree and uh, uh, I'm trying to, okay, so we're, at, we're on elevation 41. How high does this map go? 56, not too high, how deep? One oh nine. so not actually that deep. Oh yeah, no, like I said, there's there's a lot of bugs in this version. So report, 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 all bugs. All bugs. All the time. Constantly. I love getting random friend invites on Discord. Don't cackle at that grackle. Y you could name a fort balls deep, probably. to get some extra beds. Okay, well we do. Well, I found the aquifer. That's one benefit of being above ground. There goes my plans of, um... well, actually that's not totally true. I just go down to this layer. Fortunately, it does mean um, stuff will be relatively easy to acquire. We're going to need to go down to the caverns, like, immediately so I can get plump helmets. 
and underground crops, which I'm absolutely going to need. Because currently, by the way, we started without an anvil. And we also started without uh, any plump helmets because uh, chat dared me to. And I'm like, oh, okay, fine. So I need to trade first trading session. Um, and I also need to... As soon as possible. Get to the caverns. What's the goal of this fort? Don't have one yet. Find trolls, mostly. I started this fort 10 minutes ago and wasn't planning on starting a new fort today. Normally, I think about what I'm going to do with a new fort a little bit before I actually start the fort. I didn't think at all this time. I just started this fort, so. I have no idea. Is my actual answer. Um, let's mine out all of this. I wonder if they made any changes to the rendering because things seem a little fuzzy. Unless I'm like, unless my eyes are just being fucky, which is definitely possible. Place is crowded today. New patch! What's up, Epion? How's things? But yeah, any, any, any crashes you find go into the crash logs in your, um... Go, go into your crash logs in the games folder and stick them in the Kitfox crash slash bug reporting room. Um, and any obvious errors or issues, report those as well. Three by three suffers from FPS murdering? I don't know. I never built three by three stairs. So I have absolutely no idea. Why are you doing... Okay, so you don't need to do five stairs star patterns, and you haven't needed to do that since SDL2 happened. Um, because the reason five stairs star patterns were more effective for frame rate is because... Um, the reason five stairs... Five, five stairs... Five stars... <laughs> the reason this pattern <laughs> was better for frame rate in older versions was because it stopped dwarves from seeing each other. When they ported the game to SDL2 and Putnam multi-threaded um, Dwarves' uh, what, line of sight code and optimized the line of sight code, it became unnecessary. So you don't need to do that at all. Line of sight got optimized. I mean, like, you might still get a frame rate, frame or two out of it, depending on your computer. Um, but there's no real reason to do it anymore. Uh, H-A. 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 Oh, yeah, you guys want to see something cool? This is me hitting page up and page down. Numpad. Arrow keys. Can't quite zoom to the dwarf yet but this is called early stages of UI usability for this sort of thing um, because none of that had hotkey support previously am I going to name the founders? we'll name the founders when the first migrant wave arrives because right now it'll just be a cacophony very curious and sometimes to our detriment dislikes abstract discussions and would much rather focus on practical examples. Only rarely tries to assert herself in conversation and lives an orderly life organized and neat. You know, I might I might actually turn on the the redemption. <laughs> um because of how many people we have today. Chat room, would you guys be okay with me turning on the dwarf redemptions for today? I'll probably turn it off by tomorrow. Is being able to sort dwarves? All right, well. Let me just do a thing. Your rewards, channel points, rewards and challenges. I have to remember where this button, where these buttons are. Our viewer to enter.
Uh, it allows you to redeem a dwarf instead of me having to just pull people out of chat because chat's really busy today. Um, but we'll probably re like lift this limit by the end of today or tomorrow, likely. Like one person can redeem per stream. All right, it should be enabled now. New Ford is always busy. Not this busy. <laughs> it should be enabled now. Let's see. No, it's not. What the heck? I'm gonna try turning it off and on again. And hitting save. It does say temporarily unavailable. It shouldn't. Because according to everything here, it is currently enabled. I could just make a new one. I will just delete this 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 thing, and I'll just make a new one because uh, it should be available. Set everything the same though. Uh, Oh, I see. I, I made a problem here. I made an oopsie. I will delete that and refund all of those. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. <laughs> I made an oopsie. I, I, I forgot to put a limit on it. <laughs> Wait, I, I, it's fine. I can refund it. Just give me a second. Manage reward requests. Uh, all requests. Uh, yep. Actually, I, I, I may have just, like, killed your guys' points. Hold on. Did I? Why is it not showing recent ones? I may have just, like, eaten your guys' points. We've got 151k more. Not everybody does. Yeah, I think I just killed it, because I hit the delete button instead of removing it. Whoops! Let's try this again. <laughs> Can you tell I don't do this very often? No points. Manage me re re rewards. Uh. All right. This time, I will do the time limit first. Cooldowns and cooldowns and limits. Uh, one. Okay, forty-five minute cooldown. One redemption per user per stream. There we go. All right. Let's do five thousand go uh give uh last after you or gift it to someone else and i'm going to require you to enter text where you can state whether or not it's yours or someone else's why are we all redeeming dwarves now uh we're not don't worry. Only one person will. I mean, you could do that, Kid Renos. But I won't do it. So. Like I just said, I, I won't do that. So, who are we gifting it to then? Or would you like it after yourself? Or I could refund it for you. Up to you. But uh, chat's busy enough that I've decided that we're going to do it. Gift it to Brahms. Alrighty, Brahms. Uh, hmm, which dwarf do we give to Brahms? Let's give Brahms the weaponsmith. I'm going to pause the game. Brahms. 
Accepts favors without developing a sense of obligation, preferring to act as the current situation demands. Has an overinflated sense of self-worth and has and dislikes abstract discussions and has a tendency to go it alone without considering the advice of others. Has a noticeable lack of perseverance and doesn't tend to hold on to grievances. Often acts with compassion, is pleased by his own appearance and talents, and doesn't often feel envious of others. Occasionally overindulges and likes a little excitement now and then. Is conflicted by this as he uh, considers tranquility preferable to tumult conceptually. Welcome to the fortress. Dreams of crafting a masterwork someday and personally values tranquility in a peaceful day and does not value skills related to fighting and dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. Yeah, it's set for one per stream because I did it correctly this time. <laughs> also, ap apparently, if you make a reward on Twitch and then delete it, you can't refund the points after you've deleted it. So that's cool. Anyway. Because <laughs> the delete button is easier to see than the disable button. Learn something every day. Have fun finding bugs? Oh, we will find bugs. Speaking of bugs, quick save. <laughs> Yeah, new Embark, new patch. It's in the beta branch. Was that clay loam or the layer above? Uh, the one the the layer above is some clay. I need to look at it though. It's there's sand, there's black sand, and I think it's like two layers of dirt. Anything interesting about the new patch? Uh, if you generate new worlds, uh, you will get um. Interesting. Some of these rendered are correctly. Uh, if if you generate a new world, uh, goblins will be able to attack with um, uh, trolls, which is a major bug that's been in the game for forever. So goblins have been way too weak. Uh, theoretically, or not theoretically, um, vampires are no longer blue. Why does it take so long saving on my machine? Because it's a very large world. <laughs> And also, um, I don't compress my saves, so it would take longer if I wasn't. Uh, what, for them fixing it? I mean, I told Tarn. Beak dogs are mounts, so they will arrive with beak dogs, sure. But um, they're supposed to attack with trolls with armor, or ogres with armor, and they haven't done that since this version came out. And the reason for that is um, goblin locations are supposed to tunnel partially underground, and they haven't been doing that. I didn't fix anything. I told Tarn that it was a problem. So I didn't fix it for them. I reported the bug. Tarn fixed it. Um, and uh, so they don't tun they don't tunnel underground, or weren't tunneling underground, meaning goblins have been working at like a quarter power since version 50 came out. So basically anybody who bought this game on Steam and didn't play it before, congratulations. Goblins are actually at full capacity now. <laughs> An interesting. Uh, I like all these abandoned forest retreats around here with stuff in them that I can take. That's kind of great, actually. Let's also see if there's any news and rumors. Who's attacking what? So there's a my this dwarven fortress here. Also, th that's pretty cool. Uh, this faction has a religion. This is my faction. We have a religion called the Holy Crypt, uh, or we have a religious position called the Holy Crypt and a, and a religion called the Crypt, the Cult of Ghosts, which is pretty great. And also we have the, doc the Holy Burial of the Doctrine of Ashes. That's pretty good. And um, we have the... Uh, also, the Holy Crypt of the Cult of Ghosts. Let me check something. Civilizations. Our king is named Godem. Looking through to see if we have any goblins or elves. No, it doesn't look like it in our royalty. Megasbo is a goblin name, yeah. So, so there are some goblins here of some sort. This is quite the fortress. 
Uh, just south of us, we have a bunch of dark elven pits. Ooh, okay. Seize devils, the dark goblin fortress. That's a scary spot. That's, that's pretty scary. What else do we have? Dark goblin pits that we're at peace with. That, that won't last long. Hmm, got some uh, ban- Ooh, cobalt pits. Shoutouts to Soil Stolen. <laughs> These kobolds are so successful, they stole some soil. They stole a whole plot of land. <laughs> it's like some Carmen San Diego shit. <laughs> Dark human pits. Dark goblin fortress of Tempest Hex. Doing quite well up there. I don't think that they rename it if they move in there either. So it was it was literally called Stolen Soil before then. My friend Wad. That sounds like something that like a Doom level editor would make. Uh, Time Ninja. By the way, thank you very much for that Prime subscription for, for nine months. Appreciate you. Ooh. Profane puke. I would agree. Most pro Most puke is pretty profane. Towers, lots of untitleds. Many untitled works. Mastering the Swamp, Shrek's biography. What else do we have down here? Another Dark Goblin Fortress, Silence Demon. I haven't seen very many Dark Goblin Fortresses with huge populations in a while. Like, look at this, there's two of them. Equal spider, are these, a yeah, equal spiders have like two, like right here. These poor humans. Crotch shot, thanks for the Prime subscription. By the way, check your Prime subs and use them before June 3rd. And the reason I say that is on June 3rd, uh, Prime subs get regional pricing, which means uh, suddenly Prime subscriptions are going to pay a lot less depending on your region. Which is okay in the grand scheme of things, but just keep that in mind. Uh, Elven Forest Retreats with very few people in them. I'm just kind of poking around a little bit, seeing what's going on. The Shady Tundra. The Speechless Tower. I like the name of that mountain, the Speechless Tower. I like it when they call mountains the something tower. Another goblin fortress with 10,000. Strange trees, I agree. Life with the dark fortress. It's shady, probably. Another one, wow, is this the same faction? The Hate of Dawns. Oh, that's the watch, that, that's the, the angry demon. That You know, honestly, the Angry Demon, I think, might be the most honest goblin faction name I've ever seen. This is the Dungeon of Twinkles. Much worse name. Of Malign Dank. <laughs> I mean, th this one is a Dark Dwarven Pits. The dwarves took over this. Well, shout out to them. That's funny. The mal Malign Dank. Also, this is Slick Vile. Slick Vile of the hate of Dawns of the Angry Demon. I think they, they hate Dawns, so they went super far north so that the sun's not up as long. The demon is only grumpy. God damn it. He just he just needs more melatonin. That's all he needs. Chat room investments open for those of you who care. And also, uh, if I miss the dwarf redemption, please yell at me. What full goblin capacity means? It means goblins are operating at full strength. They weren't before. And vampires are actually working as intended again, which is nice. Uh, let's give you and you picks, because I did bring some extra picks. Just chuck vitamin D pills. Word, I suppose. As they do it up here. Did I not bring extra picks? I I swear I did. I'm wondering if this is a like tools are no longer mandatory thing. And before they just like refuse to equip picks if they don't have the job assigned. Let's find out. Let's increase this.
So how the heck do I get them to equip picks then? Because um, there, there was a change made to how picks work or to how uh, these two jobs work. Heard you were chatting me up. Can't stay long, unfortunately. Chatting you up? But what? Thought I'd squeeze in a run by and say thanks, man. I appreciate you, dude. I don't know what I did to chat you up, but apparently I did. Yeah, no, there's such minors. Interesting. Which is also funny, because, like, oh, I wonder. Because there is no mining job in here. It's a pretty big oversight if that's the case. How much do you guys want to bet? It's going to be an interesting day. <laughs> Let, let's see. They'll, they'll, they'll bring the hatchets down. We have one miner. Period. Uh, chat room, can other people uh, try this as well? I'm going to try something. See if I can find a workaround. What else did I assign to miners? I assigned Brahms and Moral. Brahms and Moral. Equip. Weapon. I like how picks are considered foreign. Uh, how... Firm and save. No orders. Let's make them equip them. You do realize there was a patch this morning, RNG, right? So everything that you know about old versions is completely irrelevant. All right. Well, they're not equipping those. That's that this Oh I see. Did I oh right yeah dog because I have to flip it on. Well now they've equipped them. Thanks to it, Elfie Bean, for my sub gift. Cooler one yay and happy dwarfing to you. Crypt pick. Also, banana. And before I just broke it and now they can't mine at all. <laughs> I think I did. Huh? Well, we fucked it. That's awesome. Try another no dig fort. Not on untamed wild. Not on. Not, sorry. Not on joyous wilds. Oh, that's hysterical. Um, let's let's kill this squad. Also, not in a place where I, I literally have no. Um, what's the word? Ability to grow anything. Uh, Cooler, thanks for the 68th month. RNG, thanks for the 16th month. Irish Stupid, thanks for the $2.75. So let's try something else. Let's hit this. Go to this. Let's hit edit. Reset to default. Well, I'm going back to that save. Goodness, that is a few tickets. So, um, I'm just going to DM Tarn.
Can you also test woodcutters? I'm, I'm literally about to test woodcutters. Let's remove you and add it to not maybe not Brahms. Let's let's add it to you. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I write duh because I haven't done it yet. Um, Aerith. Do you go pick up an axe? Tell him to chop down a tree. Because this is supposed to be a fix for an unrelated bug. I think I can also, like, tab between these. The, 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 with a button somewhere. I'm not sure what button. Now I can hit that now to pop this open and shut. There is a... I don't know what button it is, but there is a button that lets you tab between those. Yeah, so it's it's the same with axes. <laughs> that should not be a thing. That seems bad. Um, okay. Well, anyway, let's um back out of this. You know what's a really good thing, chat? It's a really good thing we embarked with a dwarf with mining skill. And a dwarf with woodcutting skill. <laughs> Frog for hire. Thank you very much for the 35th month. Welcome back. And also, thanks for the little hype train. Lanix, thanks for the dollar. Appreciate you. And the anonymous community sub. Will they equip weapons? Yeah, they equipped wep they they would equip weapons, I would think, because but they refuse to pick up picks. Can we wait for a patch for this? Uh, I give it two hours, I would say. Maybe a little longer than that. So revolution for dwarves, no longer will we be forced to free, free them into tasks we do not enjoy no longer. Will someone tell us what to do? We are free. Freedom! Yeah, totally. Free for dwarves, I suppose. Although dwarves that find freedom offensive might not like this so much. Well, um, I guess I'm just gonna make some more of these. And also, let's get a carpenter set up here. Might as well just get a bunch of workshops going, because that's all I really can do. Free from anvils. I mean, who needs anvils? Anvils are for chumps. That, that's very funny. Remember, guys, there's a reason this patch is in the, in the uh, experimental branch. There is a reason for this. If you don't have Twitch, but you're assigned miners, do not mind too. Okay. Someone on Discord is DM is adding me as well, saying it doesn't work. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, mining is just going to take a very, 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 very long time. You know what? We found a bug. Uh. <laughs> yes. Oh boy, howdy, did we. Nope. RNG. There is not. Although, I have them. However, I don't think I'm supposed to release them because there's information in there that, is, that isn't normal patch notes information. It's just in the experimental branch, so. But uh, it gives you these UI changes. And uh, currently the game crashes if you do it, but the ability to edit the default labors. If you click the done button, the game crashes. <laughs> but I, from, what I, from what I've heard talking to Putnam, um, that crash has been fixed. It, uh, it just hasn't been moved to the branch yet. Perhaps we should have finished the other four too. Nah. Nah, this is fun. I'm having a good time with this. I have like this annoying persistence of when there's a new version of a game, I, regardless of how broken it is, I will play the new 
version of the game to death, even if it like compromises my gameplay experience. Like when um when Tarn broke it, broke the game so that babies were just like mind controlling their mothers to death. I played the game that whole week. I was burrowing mothers on top of food stockpiles and like eventually I think I disabled dwarven contraception so they couldn't have kids anymore, but uh, or enabled Dwarven contraception. Um, chat room, thank you very much for the four subscriptions and $3 and 75 pennies in biddies. Appreciate you. You're sold, but you, you can't do it right now. Cause it crashes when you accept it. So like, if that is your, if that is the reason you would want this patch, just, just hold off for a bit. <laughs> You're a distracted celery. I'm a not distracted streamer. All right, all the way up to the top. And on this side, let's do this. And also, uh, trolls are going to work again. Which is the thing I'm probably the most excited about. I I missed being able to fight with trolls as part of Goblin Sieges. And uh, vampires are no longer blue, which has already been confirmed by chat. Uh, they also added some more graphics to things. Like statues have more graphics now. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, Nord. Pretty sure it's still just the numbers. Uh, add work detail, add work detail, add work detail. Yeah, it's just numbers. Oh boy. It's a crash game. I should have known that it would do that. I like how I said it out loud. And it crashed the game as I said it. I'm just reporting bugs in real time, so it's fine. Not like we did much. Oh, just gotta build some workshops and get them working. Uh, I mean, I the the crashing in labors thing I found last night at like 11 o'clock at night, and Putnam said she found a fix when I sent her a DM about it. So my assumption is that that is probably already fixed. And, um, they're, they're, you know, it, it's what happens when cats crash to desktop. Yeah. It's what happens when you, you know, put up an experimental branch with a bunch of new UI tweaks in a game like this, right? Like, it's this, the, as much as I love this game, it doesn't have a huge QA team and it's a huge game. So, like, there's a bunch of volunteers and then Kit Fox, and the volunteers got it last night. So, like I said, it's hot. That's why I said it's hot in my video. Because it's hot. Turns out. But, you know, that's okay. As someone who supports games, QA, QA is not so hard. Yep. And that's honestly, I'll be honest, part of the reason I'm streaming it is because I'm not a QA volunteer for them officially, but I can help. Go go lurk mode so you can do mandatory things. Do what you gotta do, man. Thanks for swinging by. It's good to see you as always. Keep streaming dwarfs. Also, damn. I just realized my, my, my video from this morning is doing quite well. Nice to see. Already have 4,000 views. Nameless is correct, hard as heck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Haven't you done some QA stuff? All right, so all of the custom job stuff is interesting, but it mostly crashes the game.
But yeah, this is the, these crashes is the reason this isn't posted publicly anywhere that it's up. Don't need Q quality assurance when it's that masterful lever. I disagree. I think you need, I, unless you're talking about Quebec, <laughs> um, but uh, when, when it comes to QA, you absolutely need QA. 100% you need QA. So it doesn't matter. In fact, most games probably need more QA. Uh, but this is me helping recruit QA volunteers for this game. Unassigning them and reassigning them? Let's try that. More all. Unassigned. Reassigned. Let's see if I do it within this screen. Holy shit! We'll, we'll report to Putnam. So that's good. A fort is saved. May <laughs> 12s is beyond quality. I, it, I sometimes, you know, as much as I love Bay 12, I sometimes feel like the beyond quality thing is not a lie. <laughs> that's that's the, not the word I'm looking for here. Sometimes I think it's like it, it's so far beyond quality that sometimes it loops around. <laughs> Accidentally truthful. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. Well, we, we, we are making progress. Thanks for the workaround, chat room. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save, actually. Uh, if you want to get into modding for this game, uh, your best your best bet would be uh, the DF forums or probably actually the Kitfox Discord because the Kitfox Discord has a modding room where there's a bunch of modders actively talking. I don't really have a modding community that's actively modding the game on my Discord. People probably do, but it's not generally a heavy topic of discussion that I've seen. What are these squares I haven't dug out? Pillars for aesthetics. Generally, if it's like, why are you doing a thing in a strange way? If it, 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 the answer is almost always because I think it looks cool. I think I need to. Um, I want to put in muskets. There was somebody modding cannons in for a while, but I don't think you'd be able to make gunpowder work. Pillar aesthetics, also a new band name. Yeah. Let's see if I can do this all four at a time. Yeah, yeah, I can. And I'm also just going to go up here real quick, grab these beds. Thunk, 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 thunk. And remember, I still need a, an anvil. And I have no plump helmets. And I have no seeds of any kind, so. Imagine barrels of it being flung out of minecarts. Like barrels of what? I want to build a huge mead hall in your fort where I can channel out four layers with some pillars, make the hall with super tall ceiling. I was kind of thinking about doing that here, but the layer below is a aquifer, so. <laughs> well, obviously not the wine barrels because they keep whining about it.
And let's do one extra throne and an extra table on this one. Table. People are speculating Lewis is very unhappy uh, in preseason testing, and that has motivated the move. The new Merc car is looking very slow. Lol. <laughs> I'm wondering how long Toto Wolf keeps his job. That's that's what I'm wondering. That's, that's kind of funny, though. Thanks for the insights, or additional insights, I suppose. Um, let's grab me a wheelbarrow, a single wheelbarrow, and I will assign it to this pit here. Uh, now that I'm up here, hey, all the snow melted. Look at that. Rivers are still frozen, though. Chat room, your big job for today is to periodically remind me to save, please. Also going to place a... Ooh, do I want to put this up here or down in here? I kind of want to put it down in here. Let's just plop this down in here for safety's sake. Although I'm going to make it out of blocks... Bit early, but remind me again in 10 minutes. What's the new goal? Don't have one, aside from find trolls and probably break the game. I'm not going to get too attached to the save because this is a very, 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 very hot patch. Although we're in an ad break now, so might as well quick save. Spicy one might say, sure, yeah. Them's are words you could use. Well, Tempest Dawn is on the other side there. It doesn't, it's not quite the same color, unless I'm just seeing things. Trolls and bugs? If I say the goal is find trolls and bugs, chat's already here. So, like, what? what's that going to... <laughs> kind of do look like rainbow beds. They're all made out of featherwood, though. Mm -hmm. And Tarn's decided to feed you guys again, which is great. Okay, so... Going to immediately do this for no particular reason other than I kind of want to. I like building bridges in forts like this. Uh, it's experimental. But it is also, I, I, is there such a thing as an unofficial patch? <laughs> I guess what you're asking is what branch is it in? But no, it's it's in the um it's in, it's in the experimental branch, yeah. Um, let's just plop a meeting area down here. This may end up also just being my stockpile. Actually, let's let's just do that. Um, this is going to be for ammo, animals, armor, cloth, finished goods, food. Furniture, although food, let's just kill seeds, even though I don't currently have any. Any gems, leather. I don't think I have any, but we'll add these. And sheet. And then I'm going to make a separate small one just up here. Wood. You did miss the beginning today. You missed the game crashing a lot. <laughs> and also us finding a bug and then chat helping me find a workaround. So I won't say that you missed like everything or anything. Don't worry about that too much. Uh, up top here on the surface, I'm going to do this. Ooh. Didn't even think about this screen. I like how you can look up the animals' professions and it doesn't sort them by anything. <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder if it sorts them by war animals.
Yeah, but that's a mod, but I, I wouldn't, I would not say that Skyrim is a good example. Just because the game is bad and it needs its audience to volunteer for free to fix it doesn't necessarily mean. I guess, like, the closest thing for a Dwarf Fortress, like, unofficial patch would be, like, probably a DF hack patch, but even then. To allow llamas to be more trainable. Yeah, were, were you, Brahms, re, remind me, were you the one who made the, the mod that allowed you to burn clothing? Or was that somebody else? Oh. Rivers are falling. Nice. That was you. Did you ever update that mod? Because I've had some people asking me about it recently. Or about mods that do that, I guess. Um... Just ramp this up right here. Actually, I don't think that'll work. So let's let's just go this way instead. I don't think you did. You look at the DFFD and see if it will work in the current version. I th th that's the reason I ask because I've I've had a lot of people ask if there's like good mods for like clothing disposal, and like yours was I guess the only one I can really think of. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do this in kind of a sneaky fashion. I'm gonna do this first. Oh, I need more. Well, then we'll wait. They'll, they'll make me more blocks sooner rather than later. Um, I'm going to make a bit of a, a walkway that's gonna kind of go this way. This is where the majority of the fort's gonna be, but I'm going to make a little stairway going down, probably around here, which I'm just gonna bring straight down to. Let's just say. Layer minus 10, because I gotta, I have to find the caverns. No choices. We have to. Um, I don't think I have any gems in the fort just yet. But let's make a craft shop. And get somebody making rock crafts. <laughs> Go nuts. Yeah. Rum. But since since you did update it, that means that I can recommend it to people. Um, chat. What kind of what should I make? Should, should I make uh, amulets, bracelets, crowns, earrings, figure figurines? What should I make? What do you think? Chat just dies. Chat just dies. Yeah. You know, I was I was joking about making dies to shoot at baddies. I'll make rock dice. No idea how valuable these are, if at all. Asks chat what we should do. Chat dies. <laughs> Something kind of funny about that. And um, once they're done digging that out, um, I'm going to do a priority number four room right here. And this will be a di our actual meeting hall slash dining hall area. That's going to go all the way along to the edge over here. And um, I think this is just going to become a pretty big, like, main entry hall kind of zone. Because this isn't going to be the way in and out eventually. Way in and out's going to be on this side. That is a really cool embark. Your mod doesn't burn clothes, just body parts? Oh, okay. Gotcha. For some reason, I thought that it, it burned clothes. Um. Let's just do it this way. 
That'll be fine. There isn't a way to determine what quality to burn. Hmm. I mean, you could use a give stockpile. I would say. Probably be the only way to do that. You know, Tarn, Tarn has been talking about procedural tavern games for a billion years, and I feel like that would open up the doors to things like gambling. I agree, though. I, I would I would really like more tavern activities that, like, aside from just the socializing, telling stories, poetry, and dancing. Also, because it would be, like, little things that you could do in, like, adventure mode, too. We got a kakapo. Look at this kakapo. A cutie pie. And I love the fact that I can cycle through the dwarves with arrow keys now. Running clothes give anything or just deleting? Chat, what do you want? You got a modder asking for requests when it comes to disposing of clothes. Super well rare metals to random adventurers through Brett bets. I can tell you for a fact, so many people would get so mad at that for no reason. <laughs> Maybe for very valid reason. I, I don't know. Let's see if I can set you to just mining for a little bit. Okay, actually, you know what? Mor Moral, we'll, we'll leave you on anything. Save. A resident... I it was a huge bet, Stingray. It was a huge bet. You know, you make this adamantine... You, you make and give an adamantine short sword to your captain of the guard, and he bets it and loses. <laughs> And then continues gambling, and after he's sitting there in the tavern naked and haggard, you realize that he's not only gambled away the adamantine sword, but also all of the gold chains that you made for his new prison. Personally, I think Ash is a bit OP. Personally, but, yeah. Because that can just be made into soap. I would say clothes should turn into nothing. Body parts could turn into something of value. But I won't use the mod anyway, so. You're in favor of Ash if we're doing bulk burning? I would say I'm not in favor in Ash in either or. Unless it's bodies. Like bo like if you're burning like goblin corpses, okay. That that I can understand that. But Oh yeah, actually true. If it's like a very, very, very small percentage, if like you have to burn like 20 pairs of socks to get one ash, I'd I'd be okay with that. But it has to be like because the like it, it is not uncommon for me to have thousands of used pieces of clothing. That would also be OP, Pam Ninja. Um, let's get a little bridge built here. Actually, let's get floors built here first. Let's also grab a mechanic shop. Very pink fort. Unless, like, it costs Ash to burn clothes. I'd be okay with that. But. King bets the fort loses. That's just me and Warsim. If you've ever played Warsim, you can literally, like, gamble your entire, like kingdom that you're running's bank account on uh, 
like on a like a duel <laughs> or a snail race. It's a good time. That game's a lot of fun. Uh, we got Lignite. Ooh, that's useful. Ah, excellent. Um, immediately see a draft. Like good, good, good. Excellent. This is this is good stuff. Uh, the dwarves are. Eh, it's kind of an awkward angle. Okay, what what are, what are we seeing? Okay, actually, here's what I need to do. I need to set this to priority number one. Go get them all the stuffs is. What do we have? Uh, cave wheat, cave wheat, cave wheat. Details cool. Uh, sweet pods, sweet pods, cave wheat. Where's where are them plump plump palmlets at? I mean, I can live with cave wheat, but. What layer are we on? 21. Okay, much higher up than I expected. Drothless for the win. Yep. Also, Wada. It's good. Not that I really need that, but. Pigtails and dead pigtails. Um... Well. Oh, we also have um, a spicy rock here some gems in it. Miss those little gigantic boys? I find that you see them a lot more often if you disable the cavern creatures completely. Um, which I'm not to totally sure as to why that is. It's like it's almost an either or. It's like you don't really get both. It's like you're gonna... Why did you dig down one more? You've betrayed me, game. You've ruined my aesthetic. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, that poor Droth is just gonna run off. Well, I'm gonna continue looking around for plump helmets. We're gonna queue these up. Oops, that's not the button I wanted, but I mean, it technically would work, but it's not what I wanna do. So instead, I'm gonna do this. Because I, I wasn't, I didn't see any Drothlas or anything, or Crundles for that matter, um, in my last fort, until I disabled Cavern Creatures completely, because I kept hurting my frame rate. So I completely disabled them, and when I completely disabled them, boom, suddenly we had Drothlas. Cave Swallows. It's a very open cave. Look at this. All right, well, let's jump up to here. Scroll down a little bit. Get you to make, I need three mechanisms. It doesn't really matter the materials. I just need three of them. Your trick for clothes is two stockpiles, one for finished goods and the clothing stuff, and one for new that you can toggle off uh, from except from all, and then take from your clothes and leather workers. What I do is I just make a few stockpile that's only for clothing, and then any like tattered clothing, which is the two X's, um, just gets put in there and stuff disintegrates significantly faster in a um, in a stockpile that is set to be refuse. So that's what I do. I'm going to mine out all of these all the way up so that it's easier for me to build a wall all the way up. I do rock salt all the way this way. I'm also going to dig out this way up. And pause. You get boring mud. It's just a percent chance based on world gen stuff. That's all it is. Having mud-only forts used to mean that you had a specific type of demon in, in hell, but that those demons got removed from the game for some reason. So, no, it's actually no longer a thing. It used to be a thing. Okay, well, we'll get to that eventually. What are my dwarves all doing right now? Everybody's gathering plants. Works for me. 
How many dies have I made? Did dies not show up? Are they listed under like tools or something? Oh, maybe we just haven't counted them. Ah, there we go. It can rock salt die, which I have no idea the value of. I mean, if we're actually like talking like who has better coffee, McDonald's or Tim Hortons, as somebody who worked for McDonald's for years, I have to say McDonald's has better coffee than Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons coffee has been undrinkable since they got bought by the US. Um, chat, I will be back in a second. All this talk about coffee makes me want to go top off my coffee, so I'm going to go do that. All right, coffee top off complete. So I could sit back and enjoy work and uh, enjoy blind stream with Mc with McDonald's and a double Big Mac. You know, when I when I was a uh, I I haven't had McDonald's since I worked there. I I, I refuse to eat it now. But um, when I before I worked for McDonald's when I was a like a teen, my go to McDonald's order was two Big Macs. Literally, that's what I would just get. I, nothing else. Just two Big Macs and a water <laughs> when I was growing up. It was always my order. All right. Uh, that's enough dye. Let's um, let's throw in... Let's just start making rock... Or not cloth amulets. Rock amulets. I love how this this whole stockpile is just full of dice. Three McChickens and a large fry. Jesus, man. That's intense. Lonely dwarf seeking plump helmets. God, this is a cool area. This. This whole spot. I kind of want to, like, corner it off. Do something with it. Well, we might be limited to cave wheat, which is fine. I'm, I've actually, I've got no issues with using cave wheat. But um, I don't believe I have... I had no self-control in a large appetite. Oh, dude, tr trust me. I, I agree with you. I used to eat two Big Macs. I ain't judging. I'm just like, wow, that's a lot. Trust me, uh, like going from being, I don't know... Four feet tall to six feet tall in three years requires a lot of fast food. <laughs> um, you have applied dwarf tag over three hundred games. On <laughs> glad people are uh... tag dwarf to over three hundred games that have dwarfs in them on Steam. Less than three love blind. Did they actually add the dwarf Steam tag? Like, is it is it there officially now, or is it still just an unofficial user tag? But three hundred, damn. You should, like, compile a list of those games so that other people can go grab them as well. A lot of calories and a lot of gro gro growth hormone. Pretty much, yeah. For clarity, I, I think fast food's fucking disgusting. <laughs> but that's me as an adult speaking, not me as a high schooler speaking. Oh, shit. I think I was making wheelbarrows on repeat. Well, we're selling wheelbarrows. Still unofficial as of an hour or so ago. Yeah, I don't I don't think that us, are, like, the Dwarf Fortress community as a whole has enough pushing power to make that happen. I do think that the Deep Rock Galactic people do. I 
especially in a world where I had to like scream at Twitch with a YouTube video to make YouTube to make Twitch fix the directories here. Um, I, don't, I don't think Dwarf Fortress community has enough power by themselves. It's kind of like the K-pop fan base. <laughs> it is a little cultish. Yeah, I, I, I will agree with that. Oh, we got troglodytes. Did they fix it? Yep. Yeah, yeah the, they're, the directories have emerged. Very, like, slapdash, quick fix kind of thing, but hey, the, the directories have been merged, so that's what matters. Uh, for plant gathering, I'm actually just going to assign two dwarves to this. Uh, let's actually do these two. Brahms and Earth. Because I don't actually want everybody plant gathering. I want some jobs to get done. Apparently nothing's getting done. And we must have... Well, something caused this one to cancel. That's fine. Still working on those mechanisms. Awesome. So I need to make a farming area. I think we're going to farm right here. And the way I think I'm going to farm is I'm going to channel down a layer next to this. Pause this. You have more hands. This should just have one wheelbarrow on it. How many wheelbarrows did I accidentally make? Was it... Oh, maybe, maybe I did just make the one. Flavi Wamblers! Um, I intend to not farm in the caves. And... I, I don't know, Chet. Do you guys want this to be more of a surface fort or more of a cavern fort? We've got cool-ass waterfalls, so I was thinking make it more of a surface fort. But if you guys want me to make a cavern fort, I can make a cavern fort. There's no real sweat here. But um, farming on the surface is just as efficient as farming on the caves, if as long as you're farming on mud. Um, Yeah? Uh, that would actually be quite easy to do because the, 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 the water freezes in the winter. So yeah, no, absolutely I could do that. Caverns at each waterfall. Well, I mean, this is just going to be our first meeting zone, but I could do that. There's no aquifer. There's aquifers one layer down. That would be really easy to make a well. Or just stretching from surface to, to save. To, to cave. Well, Ch meanwhile, chess like, why not both? Um, I don't, I haven't updated the goals command yet because I don't really have one. Aside from just find bugs. You know what? Let's let's just knock down this wall. If I'm not going to put my starting tavern there, I might as well just knock down the wall. Oh, hey, somebody started building. There we go. Okay, so I need to check... Actually, hold on. What do I need to do? I need to... make a food stockpile, sand seeds. Actually, I need a plant stockpile more specifically. Plants. Yeah, let's let's just remove things I don't need. Uh, let's go, don't need miscellaneous liquid. Don't need extracts. Don't need whatever that is. Don't need this. Don't need paste. Don't need fat. Don't need milled plant. Don't need, uh, yes, do need that. Don't need this. Do need this, don't don't need this, do need this. Uh yes, 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 yes. No. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, I, I just ha I haven't updated the gold command yet. Uh, there is a patch in the beta branch, uh, Renfield, uh, but it is very hot and very buggy. Like, half the UI breaks, um, and it took us a couple of minutes to figure out how to actually get more than one dwarf mining. Good news is, I can't do any of this because it'll crash the game, but if you click on this button, you can edit the default jobs, which is pretty cool. Also, uh, filtering. So, both of those things, pretty rad. Also, I think name a dwarf is up. How did I get my dwarves to mine? Unassign them from mining and reassign them and unassign them and reassign them a handful of times. They'll start, then they'll pick up their picks and start mining. Chat pointed it out. Somebody in chat figured it out. Exactly, deep space bears, yes. Or it should be up. Unless I broke something. Oh, I see what it, what I broke and why it's not working. Ha! I can fix it. I can fix this. As you can tell, I haven't made a new channel points reward in like a year. Done. Now it should work. Yeah, I set the wrong thing. I over, like, exaggerated the initial fix. Reward is on cooldown. Well, now it's on cooldown, apparently. Well, how much time do I have on cooldown for? Must be 45 minutes. All right, well, we'll worry about that later. Apparently, I have to read the word story, though. Uh, which is fine, because we're just constructing stuff. Oh, I see. Walnut bag got it. Um, hold on. Just, just let me read this. Uh, happily dudes scream. Convincingly, we scream. My cobra tura are plentiful. Uh, existentialism can easily identify certain ducks as mean. All caught up. And, uh, walnut bag can be Aerith the Armor. Walnut bag is in love with moral or armor. And uh, you're currently hauling a quarry bush leaf. The amount of practice that goes into mastering a skill is quite impressive, you say. Generally acts impartially and is rarely moved to mercy. Doesn't seek out excitement. And is somewhat quarrelsome. Bothered by this since she values friendship. And is rarely happy or enthusiastic. Is conflicted by this as she values parties and merrymaking in the abstract. Doesn't handle stress well. And uh, likes to keep things practical without delving too deeply into the abstract. Tends to be a little wasteful when working on projects. And occasionally overindulges. Curious and eager to learn. Likes to take it easy. And doesn't t mind a little tumult and discord in day-to-day -day living. Needs alcohol to get through the working day. And likes working outdoors and only grumbles mildly at shit weather. Oh, did I hit the like the, the 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 like this screen or something? Or one of the wrong screens when I was reading the thing? Oh, well, whatever. Um, does personally finds blind honesty to be foolish and does not care about family one way or another. Dreams of crafting a masterwork someday. We're using the redemptions for today because chat's real busy. How you doing, Deep Space? How exciting is is it, chat? I mean, it's exciting enough that I had to turn on the dwarf redemptions. Instead of uh, just naming dwarves manually. You like uh, por porcelain silver and crystal barrel and aardvark leather and pigtail paper. And the color rose taupe. Welcome to the fort. You're a member of the cult of ghosts. Excellent. How about your husband? Also a member of the cult of ghosts. Oh, he's a part of the fellowship of fate. Okay. How about Brahms? What god do you worship? 
Also a member of the Cult of Ghosts. Right, right, right. Terum Gotol. Uh, the, the new patch is very buggy. Deep. Cult of Ghosts is better. I, I mean, you're going to have to try and convert your husband. I, I, I can't help you there. Got a few different dwarves constructing building now, which is what we need. There is a naked mole dog in my fort. Fortunately, it seems to be friendly, so I guess that's a, a benefit to everybody. And I'm gonna jump up to the surface and scroll around a wee bit. I like that the game is still telling me I have zero plant when I very much have more than zero plant. I'm gonna throw in a bookkeeper slash manager. Chad, who do I make into the bookkeeper slash manager? We could go with a named dwarf, we could go with a not named dwarf. You're huntingly fun. Hmm. We could say that. Yeah, but which named dwarf then? It'd be Walnut or Brahms. Blunt weapons are very effective, so not hard. Like, I've done many a uh, only hammer run. This will probably end up being a hammer's run because I, uh, or a hammer's fort primarily because the only metals on this map supposedly is silver. That can be, that's made into good weapons. Although I guess I could do copper spears, but. Walnut is a shitty noble last time. True. Underneath um, Walnut's uh, leadership, we did almost flood the fort like three times. Hammers are great. So are maces. Maces are worse hammers, though. Uh, you're having troubles with mining dwarf left pickaxes on the floor. Uh, so if you're on the current version, the experimental branch, unassign it, reassign it, unassign it, reassign it, unassign it, reassign it. Do not edit any of the jobs until a patch comes in because editing the jobs makes game crash. <laughs> also, don't make custom labors because that makes the game crash. <laughs> but uh, yeah, when it comes to mining, just unassign, reassign a couple times and eventually they'll, pick it, they'll figure it out. That's that's what I had to do. Literally what I did was I, I clicked on I clicked on their um, this and just went click, 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 click until they started doing it. I, I don't know. <laughs> Shrug. I, I don't know what the difference is there. Everything that I've ever been told or read has basically just said that maces are less good hammers. You like editing jobs? This is what happens when you play on experimental branches. Sometimes game break bad. So it's it's this is it, the game is very much in a play at your own risk kind of deal. All right, so chat seems to think Brahms. We'll make Brahm, Brahms into our bookkeeper. Brahms, you can be bookkeeper. You can also be uh, manager. And uh, top or bottom for book for manager office chat. What do you think? I've had people tell me that that's a myth that's no longer true a couple times now. So now I don't know what to think. Duck Astroth. When are you naming the other dwarves? Uh, when people redeem the redemption, which is up every 45 minutes, we're going to do that until chat calms down a little bit. Which, probably just today. We'll be doing that. Probably by next week, I would think. I don't think uh, super excitement's going to last around this, this, this fort too much. <laughs> I mean, if you are watching this stream and have a Twitch account, or on YouTube even, uh, press 1. Curious how many people are actually in chat right now. Or just post beers, I don't know. Uh, chat, chat seems to think top. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll put the manager's office up here then. Also, I was going to say maybe make the manager a dining room, but eh. Yeah, nor normally we're, we're, we're not this busy generally. 
The office should be built over the river with no walls. Oh. In You are aware that this is Joyous Wilds and there are giant grackles on the surface, right? Meaning, also there's giant monkeys. God, the pixies have such a funny sprite. <laughs> they look so derpy. Their heads are wider than their bodies and they're like lemon head slice shaped. <laughs> I mean, that, that is the, the full, that, that's like the entire goal of these worlds is just like, we're, it's still the same goal as the last world, which is build a cool world to prep for adventure mode. Like that, the, the same, the same goal is still, still applicable. Um. Why can't I see the op? There it is. Where the heck did the office option go? It's like, it hasn't moved, you idiot. Uh, manager, there you go. And there's a giant monkey in the fort. Great, great, great. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's just uh, make some cages. We can catch some of these giant monkeys. Cage, trap, wooden cage, although in order to make wooden cages, I do actually need to chop down trees. Now I'm scared of the surface, so I'm gonna go underground. Not that I'm not scared of the underground. The underground also scary, but like. Underground trees are bigger too. Okay, so that should lock us off. Train the giant monkeys? I'd like to. That'd be fun. Although I don't I don't think they're war trainable. Somebody's fighting. Not me! Fortunately. Although giant war battle monkeys would be kind of great. Battle monkeys sounds like a mid-2000s toy fad. Probably would happen around the same time as Beyblades. <laughs> battle monkeys! Some migrants have arrived. Ooh. Hello, migrants. You got Kilob. Also a member of the Doctrine of Ashes. Cool. In midsummer, I'm just gonna do a quick save. Yes, I do. Just thinking the same thing. <laughs> Monkey terrified. I mean, wouldn't you be if you suddenly found yourself in a dwarf fortress? Dwarven fortress and also were a monkey? Not with punch arm action. Yeah, it's it's like what, what were what were the little robots that you had like the two triggers and you'd punch each other and try to knock the head up? Basically, I'm imagining that but monkeys, but like terrifying, like the the, the monkey that slams the two things. Yeah, rock 'em sock 'em bots. Yeah, it, except like it's it they look more like the monkey that pops things together. That's just like a a gift that gives people nightmares now. Because they stopped make I, I don't actually know. Do they still make those? They might still make those. I love how often Streamlabs sends me emails and they're like, we're giving away streaming gear. And it's like, I don't need more streaming gear, man. Oh, I was like, why is the dwarf just standing here and not moving into the fort? So, <laughs> dwarf showed up down there. How would they get to the fort? <laughs> Nobody knows. Um, let's put a three wide drawbridge right here. Let's put a Three wide drawbridge right here.
The leggy bush. Poor bush. Oh, sweet. We're getting meadow sweet. Look at that. Lovely. All these lovely magical plants. Do we have sunberry berries? Actually, sunshine. Something we could make. That is actually something that's worth surface farming. Red beans? Wood vines. Huh. Beets? I love beets. Rye? Mm. Giant monkey, of course. Naturally. Not that I'm seeing. Also, no unicorns seen just yet. We've got at least two migrants who've arrived. One's an adequate record keeper. What if I just... Fire Brahms, take the adequate record keeper as... We're taking you as is. But uh, what currently is on the map that isn't friendly? Okay, we've got the giant monkeys, obviously. A lot of giant monkeys, troglodytes, and mole dogs. Chad, I have a question. Do you deconstruct your wagon, usually, or do you leave them? You remove them? Sometimes I like to leave the wagon. Keep it like, you know, the center of the fortress in a way. You leave it as a testament to your journey. The reason I ask is I'm thinking about keeping it. Useless, it's in the way. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just wondering, I'm wondering if I could like set it up so that it looks like it belongs there, you know? I feel like that would be like a fun little design thing to do. Let's just jump down to here. Also queue up another office. And uh, let's do rock doors. Let's make them out of... Ooh. Let's do conglomerate doors. Do four. Because I obviously don't have much. And I will throw a throne and a table. so that Brahms can get to his gig. So we're up to 12 migrants. We've got an engineer. A couple different dwarves. Finally, I can be suspect about my dwarves again. We've also got a piggy. Did they remove, assign all to burrow in the beta? I haven't looked. Oh, um... Did I not do that? Okay. Um, but you can, uh, in vanilla, designate over multiple layers. But let's see. Did they? Oh, yeah. It kind of looks like it. Huh. Yeah, I, I did, did not even clue in on that. Interesting. I mean, you can search for dwarves now. But yeah, it looks like we have to manually assign them again. That seems like an oversight. There's... I'd, I'd be willing to bet that the button is still there somewhere. It's just hiding. Or like the function is still there. The button is just missing. Hold on, let me, let me ask Putnam.
Just got invaded. You now have to manually find all your militia out of 200 dwarves. Uh, militia ignore um, burrows, though, when they're active. So I don't think you need to manually do that. Yeah, they ignore, like, everything. So this monkey is hauling pigtail cloth. <laughs> it's trying to get off the map with pigtail cloth. All right, well, at least I got more hands to get stuff done now. Yeah, it's, it's a bit... I, the only time you need to add military to a burrow is if you're telling them to patrol and defend a burrow, I think. Thief? Eh, it's just some cloth. Um, let's do this and this. Monk. In the midsummer. See big monkey? Big monkey running away with my cloth. I'm trying to catch said big monkey because big monkey keeps walking up here and then getting startled by the dwarves. Um, so I'm trying to get a cage trap set up to catch it. But I now need to make more mechanisms because of that. Because I'm also trying to make a lever to get rid of this. I could just put that lever back there because that'll be for the front door or for the cavern door rather. Did I make cages yet? Doesn't look like it. Did I queue up cages? Yes, I did. I guess I need to chop down them trees then. Yeah, okay. Cave trees haven't been chopped down yet. Priority on them? Priority one. What will be my woodcutter? All right, well, let's just cancel you off this job. Please go fell tree. Thank you. Yeah, I don't use them for that at all, though. But yes, they are quite effective at this. At said described task. I have to be careful about where I chop down trees because this is Untamed Wilds. Or Joyous Wilds. So it is un it's quite literally the, uh, the same as Untamed Wilds. God damn it. Are we fighting with the monkey? Why are you fighting with the monkey? Devil Dawn, thanks for gifting some subs. It's like the first five pack of the stream, I think. Appreciate you. I love me some fresh avocado. Sorry, I'm gonna get a round of beers for the very kind wall of subs. Uh, so they punched it, basically. Can you stop fighting with the monkey? Stop puking, stupid monkey. They're all cleaning up the vomit. Well, at least the dwarves are being efficient. And Bubblehead wants you to post Pierce chat. Bringing the dwarves over. Also, like I said earlier, the plan for today is we're going to mess around with this version of the game. I'm not using any DF hack features and probably won't for a little bit until I decide if I need them or not. And um, once we are kind of... What's the word? Um... through the process of testing this version or once we finish up with this fort for the day, we are going to uh, shift over to um, playing a new game, which I've never streamed before, uh, which I bought the other day, which is called Home Safety Hotline. It's a little narrative-based horror game that's supposedly pretty short that I really would like to play. So that's the plan for today. And the UI in it looks like Windows 98, which is kind of great. Let's get that linked. Barrel just ended up over here. Purple! Izumi! Thanks for the six months. Welcome back. Appreciate you. 
Here comes the injured, tired monkey. Wait, what? How'd you... Oh, they, did they not load them yet? They must have not loaded the cage traps just yet. No, they have cages. Did it skip over top of them, maybe? Or maybe it went around them? It went diagonal? Ah! I didn't see it. Speaking of, did the monkey get out? See him. Monkey, where you go? Let's make a still. Make you out of borax. Borax. And it appears that uh, Brahms is doing the management duties. Did I not tell them to pick a bunch of plants? Like, you saw me do that, right, chat? Maybe they just didn't put them in the... ...lock pile. Okay, yeah, no, there's tons of plants. Where are they? Oh, they're in this stockpile. Right. Um, okay, so, nope. 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 You can keep these. Nope. 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 And, uh... Hopefully that'll move them over. And I'm assuming I need to just make some barrels. Actually, let's just make rock pots. Skip over the barrel step. Okay, can't type on the keyboard on that. There we go. Now I can brew drinks from plants. Perfect. Start getting the seeds in this fort. Starting off with cave wheat. Excellent. Just like your real job hanging out in the office. Everyone needs a real job to a point. I'm still perplexed as to why it says I have no plant, but whatever. Um, so I said I was going to put farms back here. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to dig this out. Then I'm going to do this. That's what? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait. Let's do this. This. I may have gotten this slightly off, but that's okay. It's all going to get cut out anyway. Also, this is going to move underground. We've got sweet, we've got cave weed seeds and sweet pods. Did that monkey make it off the map? I wonder. Oh yeah, all the monkeys made it off the map. We do have giant sparrows though. That's pretty cool. I'm going to, I think. Place a couple cage traps up here on the surface as well. Let's just do one like... Oh, I need more mechanisms. Eh. But we're going to put some cage traps up here on the surface. Okay, or rock mechanisms now is what I want. Mechanisms. And let's just stick to... Borax, I suppose. 
It's a new patch, yes, but very, very, it's, it's on the experimental branch and it's very crashy. Main notable things is UI improvements. This is all vanilla. I, I do have DF hack on, but it's everything's disabled. Uh, there's also a DF hack beta branch if you want to run DF hack as well. Um, so like you can, when you select stuff, you can do this. You can also move up and down with uh, numpad, page up and page down, move, jumps the whole screen. Numpad and uh, uh, what's it called? Arrow keys allow you to sort through stuff. However, I don't think there's any way to select them just yet. There might be, and if there is, I haven't found it. Um, so early stuff working towards keyboard compatibility, um, as well as uh, this breaks the game right now, but you will be able to edit the default labors by clicking this button. You can also rename them, which is neat. Um, you can also still add new work details and all that as well. Uh, but let me just quick save. Just in case we get a crash. I'll show you. But yeah, it's opt-in and it's 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 hot. Yes, YouTube. I get it. <laughs> We're saving. Working on it. But uh, there's some oddities going on. Like um, when dwarves are uh, assigned mining, they won't go pick up... Um, they will not go pick up a pick, or uh, they will not go pick up an axe when assigned to woodcutting, unless you unassign and reassign and unassign and reassign them a half, half dozen times. Then they go do it, which is a little weird. So there's some oddities, but... It's a, it's mostly just a quality of life patch. Also, um, vampires are unbroken. Also getting updates on the status of that bug. Uh, but yeah, if you hit Y and you click on, let's say, stone cutters, stone cutting, you can now see exactly what that task does. Instead of us having to dig through the, 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 the files. If you click done, it crashes the game. Just a FYI. Um, we can now see exactly what orderlies does. Recovering wounded, feeding patients and prisoners, dressing wounds and stitches, setting bones, surgeries, diagnosis, and uh, I guess now I wonder what doctoring does. Um, are are all unchecked? FPS hasn't gone back up. That's weird. Doctoring is essentially all. Interesting. I can't say I've ever had a hospital with just just a doctor. But it's good it's good to be able to see those by default now. And try restarting. I would too. I don't know if that'll fix anything. But it's very rare that restarting Dwarf Fortress fixes problems with Dwarf Fortress just from past experience, but it's always worth trying. be a rock lobster. I mean, then it would be a lobster if it wasn't a rock. Let's see how news and rumors are doing. I like that my, my dwarves are taking back goblin strongholds. Oh, also, the, the two biggest changes for me, outside of UI, um, that are in this version now, is uh, vampires are now properly disguised, meaning you won't see them. They'll be invisible. And um, goblin sites now properly raise uh, trolls. So you'll actually have to deal with trolls during goblin invasions now, which is also really nice, which means goblins are now actually going to be a slightly bit more of a challenge. 
which is cool. Instead of just being like ultra easy mode like they've been on for a while now. Did they fix ocean waves yet? There's nothing about ocean waves in the patch notes that are hidden that I have special access to because I'm special. The thing is, I don't think they've technically broke ocean waves. Ocean waves just don't have a sprite. <laughs> like, if you go into ASCII, they still work. So. What? Oh, did I? I never assigned this office to. Bro I was wondering, I was like, why aren't my things getting counted? Well, it's because I never gave the guy an office. <laughs> Turns out, bookkeeper. I'm still waiting for the day that we can get sprites for baby and teenage dwarves, which we're supposed to get, that I've seen, that I know exist, but Tarn just needs to patch them in. I'll finish mining out the top, and then I'm going to just get the bucket brigade dumping buckets of water into all of these. It's a little weird that I haven't found any plump helmets down here, but I mean, I can live in a fort without plump helmets. We will be okay. So just a little weird. At least until I buy some plump helmets. Um, probably one of the were creatures. I know the were panda is a pretty favorite one. I think the were moose is hysterical. Uh, the leech man is something terrifying that I want to kill with fire, so that's, that's a good thing in a weird way. Um, I don't know. Probably those. Nope, not really. The thing about what are common things in Dwarf Fortress that cause performance issues? I don't know if I could tell you right now. Um, aside from, like, maybe cavern dwellers. And the reason I say that is I don't really get performance issues outside of weird circumstances, and it usually recovers. So, like, I mean, there is natural slowdown over time. That just happens. But I, like, used to be pretty good at identifying them in older versions because it was really clear. But ever since we've moved to SDL2, it's like... It's like trying to decipher, like, a weird riddle. It's like, I... I, I don't know half the time. So... I'm not sure. Chat can maybe give you some suggestions. I need to make buckets. Did I bring buckets? Yeah, I have three buckets. Okay, sweet. We'll just make this a water zone over here. Sea monsters look cool, but you've never seen one in game? Yes, yeah, same. Well, not in this version, anyway. I've seen them in older versions. So I've never seen the sprite for them. And I only saw them in older versions recently when I went specifically looking for them. And also, I'm going to make a seed stockpile. Stockpile for just seeds. Dump some more buckets in there. You're usually capped at 60, but it's stuck at 15. That's weird. You assumed it was the large uh, invasion you were putting out fighting? <laughs> we're out of food. Eh, it's fine. Hmm. Who am I going to munch on? What's that one then? What what is that one then? Just go look I mean, if you just go to the um Hold on, I 
Sorry, I have the wiki open. Oh, there's a link to the sprites. The were elephant is also kind of hysterical looking. There's the moose. That's the were elephant, which is a special kind of hysterical. <laughs> were bear, there bear. That's also funny. Yeah, the the, the were moose is something. Were elephants up there though? Yeah, that's that's the were. Elk or deer? It's one of the two. I think I think that's an elk, not a deer, though. All right. Well, I was kind of hoping I would have caught something I could I could eat at this point, but I haven't. So, although we are in late summer, so I can just buy food when dwarves arrive. It's also fine. So we start gardening. Do you like the Were Panda sprite? Were Panda, I think, is Zach's favorite. So we don't have Were Creatures IRL. That we know of. Just like, you know, Bigfoot doesn't exist. Right? The reason I'm not just butchering my animals is I kind of want my animals to breed a little bit before I just start butchering them. We Noodle ate today for the first time in six weeks. Good for Noodle. Proud of Noodle. Give that Noodle pets for me. Don't that give me eggs? Sure. It's not a huge food supply, though. I should probably do that, but I was mo I'm mostly waiting because I want to I want to put them down in here, with the gardens. So just one thing at a time, you know. It's I'm not I'm not worried about the food situation. I mean, if I get if I start getting worried about the food situation, I can literally just do this or just turn on like fishing. <laughs> like, trust me, we 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 have plenty of options and ways to get food right now. Not a, it's not a huge deal. Yeah, exactly. Zarkal. Zakarl. I find your name hard to say. They take forever to breed? I don't know. There's plenty of geese outside here in the summer, so I don't know what you're talking about with that. I have a double waterfall, yes. It's like a double rainbow all the way across the sky. It's so beautiful. Yeah, they only eat roughly, I think it's twice a season. Like every other month. The thing is, Sir Hick, I, I don't use any of that stuff. So, like, if you know how it works already, you already know more of how to do it. Right? Um, Because I, I don't use building... Like, I have absolutely no interest in learning building blueprinting. And I also don't particularly want to make tutorials about it. I mean, I can if there's overwhelming requests, but there really isn't overwhelming requests and DF hacks pretty simple to figure out. So since you already know that, that stuff exists, why don't why don't you just go mess around with it yourself? Seems like they get calories from booze. They also don't drink that much. I mean, I drink more often than dwarfs. Do. <laughs> unless you're unless you're playing adventure mode. Like ba basically in fortress mode a lot of stuff is just kind of abstracted and one of the things is like the frequency that they drink and eat. It's kind of abstracted, right? So you you get dwarves drinking and eating way less frequently than they actually have to 
just for the sake of like the simulation not being completely tedious. There seems to be a dearth of DF mod reviews on YouTube. I tried making them for a little bit and literally nobody watched them and the people who did said that I was doing a bad job. So I kind of stopped. But I, I was making videos of mods briefly. I just, I don't know. Well, mod reviews are one of those things where it's just like, oh, this is just like shitty content. <laughs> That's how I feel about them. Um, so I don't know. Although I feel the same way about like the community forts. Like it's just cheap content basically. Oh yeah, no, there's there's lots of things in this game that would be miserable if they did them as much as they actually do. And I, I I'm also not a huge mod enthusiast, I guess, when it comes to Dwarf Fortress. Like anybody who watches this stream probably knows that I don't really use mods. Uh because I just the vast majority of them are just reskins of things that already exist in the game. So, like, what's the point? Um, considering also a focus of my channel is teaching people how to play the game in a vanilla format. Like, even me having, like, DF hack UI options, I think, is, like, kind of a negative. You were so into the community of Warfits? I'll start making them again. Once Adventure Mode's out, probably. Because then I can actually explore the forts. And... If I can explore the forts in adventure mode, boom, no longer lazy content. <laughs> Is there a new patch? Yes, in the experimental branch, it's very crashy. I mean, generally the way like my history with mods has been is I don't use mods unless they're a total overhaul. And I don't generally play total overhauls unless it's a unique situation. So, as an example, um, I've done forts that were using the Super Mario Brothers mod. I've done forts that were using, um, uh, what's it called? The Star Wars mod. And I played with the Pokemon mod and other mods. None in this version since 1.0, or since, uh, since, since 5.0 came out. Or version 50, 50.0, whatever. Anyway, 50.01 or whatever that first version was. I haven't done any of that in like the last year, but I used to do them like every couple months. I would do like a fort where I would play with an overhaul mod, but it would be like, you know, a fort that I'd play two or three times and then we'd call it, right? Uh, it's April. It's all stars, yes. April question marks. No specific date in April, just April. I had to bet mid-late April. How the hell do you go there without FPS death happening? It seems impossible. I mean, there will be significant slowdown if you breach hell, yes. Death? I mean, I usually sit at like 10, 15 FPS, which is... 20, 30 on the high end, which is perfectly playable. Um, but there will be moments where uh, it drops below that, for sure. Like, I mean, just go watch the VOD from yesterday in the evening when I was playing um, that for it. You're down to one game shot down to one FPS. Try turning off temperature um, because sometimes you'll get beasts made of snow and beasts made of fire. So beasts sitting at absolute zero, like right next to beasts made of stuff that's as hot as the sun. Um, and the temperature calculations can sometimes fuck with it. But yeah, no, I mean, breaking into help is heavy on the computer. Very heavy. 20 and 15 in your city? Man, could you imagine how how badly that fort would have ran before SDL2 was out? Jesus, dude. Because you can be pleasantly surprised if it's earlier. Sure, certainly. Uh, although it is a grim reminder of the winter hardships to come, a supply caravan from the Emerald Irons is a welcome sight. Their eyes are alight with, anticipate, with the anticipation of inspecting the splendid products of your industrious craft dwarves. Rip. 
Redeem a dwarf should be up. Uh, take careful stock of your own stores. These merchants offer may very well be the difference between a prosperous future and a slow, meaningless death. Sage Bitey, do you have a preference? How long have I been building this fort? Uh, two hours? Maybe? I didn't look at the clock when I started generating the world, so. Okay, so it's, it's dealer's choice. All right, all right. Let's, uh, who's happiest? Well, not happiest. Well, that checks out. Um, how about... But Udil the stone worker. Like you did not realize or you did realize? Because I've been streaming to YouTube and Twitch concurrently since October. Yeah. Um Sage uh, has a tendency to consider ideas and abstractions over practical applications, is somewhat quarrelsome, and is bothered by this. Since he values friendship, he tends to be passive in discussions and tends to ask others for help with difficult decisions. He likes to take it easy, and he prefers that everyone live as harmoniously as possible. Uh, when a, he, he is grateful when others help him out, and he tries to return favors. He finds obligations confining, though he is conflicted by this for more than one reason. He is slow to anger, anger and he can handle stress. He needs alcohol to get through the working day, dreams of creating a great work of art, and personally finds the quest for knowledge to be one of the very highest values. Disregards tradition, and is somewhat put off by trade and commerce. Doesn't care if others take the time to master skills, and doesn't see cooperation as valuable. As for relations, you do have friends. Good number of friends. You are a, a member of the Emerald Irons and the Cult of Ghosts. And you're an adequate stonecutter. One of the starting seven. Welcome to the fort. All right, let's sell a bunch of... Um... Actually, hold on. Where did the traders arrive? They might not be able to get to me, depending on where they are. I uh, no, they they can in fact get to me. I think. Wait, hold on. Did... <laughs> no, they can't get to me. Ah, <laughs> uh, boy. Okay, fine. Um. Okay, well, I need to build a bridge over to this side, and I'm pretty sure that the that dwarf just like forged a river. So, you know. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. We'll, we'll, we'll get you sorted. Diplomacy. Okay, so what do they want? I'm just going to ask them to bring me iron anvils. And... Say plump helmets. Bring me plump helmets. Because they probably did this time, but in case they didn't. And... They'll say iron bars. They want backpacks. Okay, can do. Diplomat's like, I'm gonna just try hard this shit. Let's just double check the world, make sure we're not getting agitated stuff. Nope, currently good. Oh, shit. Also, this is interesting. Our outpost liaison is a Baroness Consort. Unless I'm misreading that. Yeah. Baroness Consort. Spouse of a Baron. Member of the Gilded Faith as well. What are you wearing? A lot of cave spider stuff. It's a lot of cave spider stuff. Um, Honey Bun Hauler is gifting a, a, a Gold Rush mug to chat. Chat room, if you would like a chance to win this mug, if you're smug enough, exclamation point enter. This only works in the Twitch chat, not the YouTube chat. 
Exclamation point, enter in the chat, and you can get a chance. It's a pretty good mug. If you yourself would like to gift a mug to chat, you can uh, use this button. Exclamation point, merch in, in the Twitch chat for link to it. The YouTube link should just be in the description of the stream. Once we've traded, I will uh, give these dwarves a dining hall and a temple. Glad you do, Diaz. You're always thinking about us. Cheers. I mean, lots of games have come out recently. People have been busy and distracted, right? And that's, that's the way of things. Although, I, I wasn't expecting this patch at all today. <laughs> Narak... Mm, Narakbla? I think is how you say that? If you click on that, uh, the redeem link that the bot just put into the chat, you should be able to redeem your mug. Your freebie. I haven't played a new, uh, any new games in quite a while. Chat, what have you been playing recently? Bad, the part of me is thinking 90% of you are going to say Pal World. <laughs> it's just statistics, you know. Baldur's Gate. Wow, okay. Respected Hobo Jojo. Trudging through RSC just ranked. I'm sorry. Caves of Cud. Good shit. Hall of Duty. Interesting. Play the Spire. Path of Acra. Hot damn. Stardew Valley. There's always one. Uh, Escape from Tarkov. Monster Hunter. Really? And Pal World. And Lethal Company. Gotcha. Enshrouded. Okay. Lots of Enshrouded, actually. Nowhere near as much Pal World as I was expecting, actually. Maybe we just aren't that audience, generally. Some Pal World. Gotcha. Your friends pestered you into it, naturally. Far Cry 5? What? Resurna 5? Gotcha. City Skylines 2? Did they unfuck it yet? In regards to City Skylines 2, Xenonauts, good shit. Snow Runner, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. That game looks hysterical. Reindeer cows giving birth to a baby reindeer. There we go. There they come. Sweet. All right, let's go here. I got 21 die. Whoa! Why do they have check marks all the time now? That's weird. What am I looking at? Hmm. D and D's a game, not a video game, but it's a game. Uh, amulets. Nope. What does this change exactly? Hold on. I wonder if there's um Okay, page up, page down. Hmm. This is what's supposed to happen. Uh yeah, that's why there's a new patch. Also, this is in vanilla now. You can search for dwarves. And there's search functions in a lot of screens and more filters. Sort by mood, current task, like you could before, but you can also sort sort by job and main job. You can also uh, do the same thing when assigning dwarves to work and other things. You're not seeing any prices. Uh, do I even have a broker? I don't currently have a broker. <laughs> That'd be why. Um, who's, who's here? I could just give it to my bookkeeper. Yeah, we'll just give it to the bookkeeper. Still have to wait for the traders, though. Here they come. Here's hoping they brought an anvil. So, just for clarity, uh, chat kind of dared me to start with no, with no, with, um, no plants and no seeds. So I was like, okay, and no anvil. So 
Currently have no plants, no seeds, and no anvil. And, and a hungry dwarf, it turns out. Tell your squads to attack... You, you can't tell your squads to attack a specific target. Work orders, you cannot type in... Uh, quantity of item. Yep, ran, ran into that as well. I mean, we're literally doing volunteer QA if you're playing on this patch, so that's part of the reason as to why. Like, things are busted on this patch, and that's just kind of a known quantity currently. Why did they only bring steel anvils, those assholes? I don't really need an anvil right now, but you know what I do need? I need food, so... See how many plump helmets I can buy. Eh, not many. Buy 10 plump helmets. I feel... My broker sucks at his job. That's okay. We'll do it. Uh, now I need to sell other things. Hmm. I have some gems. I could start cutting gems. Yeah, I don't really want to trade those, though. The thing is, I don't really need an anvil right away. But... <sighs> I would like one. We're in an ad break, so I'm going to wait. Is there search and work orders? You mean tasks? No. Uh, and work orders? No. This is, like, basically... The way I would describe this patch from talking to Putnam the other day and now messing around with it a little bit, this patch isn't the all-encompassing QOL update. This patch is... We're adding a, sh a bunch of stuff, not everything. See how it works, see how people like it, see if they're going in the right direction, and then they'll add more stuff accordingly. Because if this patch is well received and people like the direction they're going in they can add more right make windows too i can't sell windows though i, I need to make glass to sell windows i know how when i know how gems work <laughs> but uh you you can't deconstruct and sell gem windows oh you're answering these sorry my bad Uh, you can encrust gems into things is what you can do. Called Agile Development. Yeah! I mean, Putnam's been messing around with UI improvements for a while. And this is the dirty, quick testing build to see if stuff's worth. Let me check something. Uh, so Putnam, the patch isn't up yet or anything, but Putnam has said that, uh, minor woodcutter assigning has been, uh, is fixed on their end. Uh, same with the crash from deleting jobs. Is it safe to trust the fourth wall bot? Yes. They pay me, they've paid, they paid me thousands of dollars worth of merch last year. So yes, it's safe to trust the fourth wall bot. Why is it trying to send you a whisper or something? I mean, if you, if, yeah, I, I don't know. What, 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 why are you, what, what causes this question to happen here? Do I have anybody who's even remotely good at gem cutting? I'm a novice gem cutter. All right, you're hired. Um, I've got three pyrite. Well, I guess I'll cut the three pyrite. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. But yeah, the fourth wall bot is how they give away merch. So, yes. Yeah, it's not going to be anywhere near enough to buy that anvil. 
I think I'd have to literally just start cooking meals. Let's also get meal, like, plants brewing. Um, let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. And in this. And this. Eh, actually, no, not this one. Yeah, that's one of those odd questions. I don't know how to answer that. New to Twitch and it just asked you? Oh, okay. I mean, well, the fourth wall bot is 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 the bot that the company that I part that I've partnered with to make merch for this stream uses. So, it says trustworthy as my merch store. So, if if you don't trust uh, my merch store, then I wouldn't trust the bot. But like, like I said, they've they've been great to work with so far, and I've met their founder. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you if you want to trust it or not. Code isn't getting used. Code that isn't getting used is bro is broken as your mantra. So getting stuff out there for early feedback is great. Yeah, I, I have no idea how long this patch is gonna stay in this branch, right? This pat patch could sit in this branch for two weeks. It could sit there for a month. Um, they when, when experimental weird stuff goes out, it goes into this branch. And I honestly, the way they that Tarn used to do patches like this is he would just chuck it into the main branch, and then. Sometimes it'd be great, and sometimes stuff would just break horribly. Um, and the fun of that was that, well, we got to try stuff. But there was, like, whole versions of the game that, like, I would argue to a degree, to a degree didn't work. Um, so because of that, there was certainly eras of Dwarf Fortress where it was like, yeah, so th this, this exists, but it, it, you can't use it because it doesn't work. I'm going to encrust finished goods with gems. We'll sell whatever those items are. Trying to find trolls and fight with trolls in goblin armies is the long-term goal for this fort. Outside of that, I don't really have one. Mid-autumn. Got a little bit more time. What are we encrusting? A pigtail rope. Okay. Might take me an extra year to uh, trade for an anvil, but that's okay. If they brought... Um, Iron anvils, I, I could have cranked up my value enough to be able to buy one, but nope, unfortunately not, I don't think. Yeah, I can get the value up to 300, so I would have been able to buy a iron anvil, but. With such a niche audience, I guess a separate testing branch wouldn't have got enough eyes on it to meaningfully test it. I mean, that's why I make videos of things. Like, I, I don't know if they bank on that sort of stuff at all, but like, I can tell you for fact, um, I make videos of uh, these versions of this game because I know that uh, if I make a video, people will suddenly be aware. And if I didn't make this, vi if I didn't make videos of it, nobody would, right? Also, we've got another migrant wave, crafts dwarves, and you brought a cavey and a llama. Merchants will be leaving soon. Also got a high master armor smith. Ooh. You know, I was going to start off with a temple. I think we're going to start off with an armor smith's guild. Let's also get some farming going. That's mildly annoying. <laughs> this area right here managed to not get water on it. Well... I'll put water there, because I'm going to dig all this out anyway. 
So many llamas. Yep. Seems that way. Also, not that many llamas. One llama. At the very least, I'm getting some trading skill. Wait for this pigtail. Oh, actually, it's, it's in there. Uh, pig. Hog. Pig. No, oh, I just... Rope. What I should be typing in. This one's worth less. God damn it. You fucked up, man. Gotta keep an eye out for Smokey. <laughs> man, if only. If only! Alright, so let's see. What can I do? What can I get? I'm, I'm actually just gonna buy food, I think. Which is honestly the thing I need. That gives me 230 value. If I'd found plump helmets in the caverns, I wouldn't have to buy them, but for some reason the caverns don't have any plump helmets, which I think is odd. I'll do that. And then these two ropes give me 130 value. So let's just go here and buy everything that's value 10. And then let's go to fish. Do the same thing. Can I page down on this screen? No, I can't. 70, 60, 54. Done. Okay. Boom. We have food again. Food acquired. And now I have plump helmet seeds. One next to it's going to be cave wheat, I think. God dang it. Literally just waiting for this to get bucket of water dumped in it. And we got to wait for this spot right here. Smoking is very gimly. I don't know about dwarfy. But it is it's honestly dwarves being able to smoke is one of my most requested features. True story. I'm that kind of person. It's fine. Two more spots need to be watered. It's just there and there. Once those two have been watered, we can build our next field. Uh, farming on mud is as efficient as cavern farming. The uh, traders are leaving. So it's five times as efficient as farming on dirt, approximately. Which is also the reason I'm doing it this way. Also, we know that the rivers freeze in mid-autumn. How long does the mud last? Indefinitely. Unless you do some weird DF hack shenanigans. Or burn it. Oh, also, that explains why I'm not getting any more water. Huh! I'm sitting here going like, alright, so when am I going to get more water? Anyway, the water's frozen. When am I going to get more water? <laughs> Oops. Uh, water source, please. Let's get, get the stuff up here. Let's go. Should inspire creative thoughts and skill. <laughs> These are dwarves, not like the members of the Beatles. But I, I don't disagree. If a dwarf falls, it's not a huge deal. Okay, there that goes. There's mud there. Okay, so I should be able to, to build my farm plots now. I 
That last one's gonna get cut off though, that's fine. Let's get rid of these. Done. Now I can mine out the top of this and make it look cool. Does it work with surface crops as well? That I don't know. That I do not know. I've not done the science for that. My knee-jerk response would be no, because all surface farming is the... Remember I literally said it doesn't matter if they if it caves in? Well, I guess I just proved myself wrong. Anyway, more all, uh, <laughs> Walnut Bag's husband is um, wondering how he ended up here. Did I just lose a dwarf? I think I did. Uh, maybe not. I can't remember if I had 20 or 21. Bonk. Yep, we did. Merle's, uh, oh, I see. I had a second dwarf named Merle. I had two dwarves named Merle. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Time to make a tomb. His pants flew off. I mean, actually, I think her plant pants flew off. Yeah, her pants flew off. She died so quick her trousers went flying. <laughs> well, I feel mildly terrible about that. Those are pants in there. 